Here we go already. I can't believe it. Week six, it's day number two. Sean Parr, and of course, we've got our friends Bryce and Nelly and hey, Renee and Sean. Great to have you guys with us because we talk about lifestyle. We talk about loving RVs. We talk about everything about being on the road. A lot of things to get to in day number two. As a matter of fact, coming up, our Gulfstream Enlightened series, and then we're going to jump into some Fusion fifth wheels. Sean, That's those awesome. caught your eye. I know you love those. Yeah, I was looking through those the other day, and oh my goodness, the new layouts are just incredible. Our, our fifth wheel that we had a while ago was not anything like this, so I'm really excited for those new Fusion fifth wheels. Yeah, and that's what it's about. Over 80,000 factory fresh to you RVs. These are 2021s. What surprised you, Renee, about day number one? I love seeing all the new layouts. It really is so amazing. We have so much cool stuff to show you guys today. Super excited. And if you have any questions on any of the RVs, you can just text RV to, you see what the number is. What's the number there, Sean? It's 46642. Four, six, there you Perfect. go. Perfect. Thank you guys for grabbing me on that one. That's <laughs> all good. Bryce and Nelly, we're looking forward to a great day. A lot of giveaways, Bryce. Yes. And any of you, all of you can be eligible. All you have to do is register. So text URVS to 46642 to register and then you're going to win something. Some of you are. I mean, when we're talking about giveaways, we're talking about over $250,000 worth of giveaways. You've heard us give away vehicles, and we're going to give away a lot today. Let's jump into our first look at the Gulfstream Enlightened 18BH. Take a look. Hey, folks. So this session actually excites me quite a bit because the Gulfstream Enlightened is an excellent kind of entry level to mid-level travel trailer. If you're looking to just kind of get into, you know, get your feet wet, just start maybe do I want to camp maybe it's for me maybe RVing is maybe it's not this is a great one for it uh, this particular one we're starting on is the 2021 enlightened 18 BH and this is a perfect entry level unit it's a family unit you can sleep five people in here total you have built-in bunks one of my favorite parts the dry weight is only 2675 pounds so it is very lightweight, which I know is a big concern for a lot of people who are talking about RVing, because if you don't have a truck, you probably don't want to necessarily go out and buy one. You know, again, if you, if you don't know if you're going to love RVing. So something like this is great, and it fits the budget. Folks, this one's starting at $19,995. It's under twenty grand. That is $4.94 a day. So, you know, again, I got a Starbucks earlier today. Had I cut that out, I could have this, right? You know, I've, instead of getting a coffee every day, you can have something just like this, the 18BH, and this is beautiful. We're gonna go through it. I'm gonna show you again why this is such a great value and why I love the Gulfstream Enlightened line. Uh, for this particular one, we'll start over on the kitchen here. So when you have smaller, lighter weight units, you have a couple different options. Either A, you get prep space, which is what they did. And you know, this is honestly probably my preference um, just because I do wanna have some prep space. And when they do that though, you have to, they, they give you a single bowl sink and a two burner cooktop. The other option is you get a double bowl sink, right? Full size sink, a three burner cooktop, but then you don't have any prep space. You have to use sink top covers or cooktop covers. So I like that they do have the built in space here. You also see the electrical outlet. So it's perfect. You have a coffee maker right here, boom, plug it in. It's not like it's underneath the cabinets or anything where you have to have a wire hanging down. It's nice and clean, which I like that. You also see underneath here, the Everchill refrigerator. So 12 volt refrigerator, why do I like this? Well, this essentially runs off your batteries. And so what you can do is, you know, if you have uh, enough solar and you hook up a couple batteries, you can basically run this thing nonstop, which is awesome. Uh, so if you plan on, you know, taking this out, doing some boondocking, which might not be a bad idea. You know, you got good sized tanks on here. You have 36 gallon tanks across the board for fresh black and gray, 12 volt refrigerator. You know, you want to get off the beaten path, you can do that. Now, if you do have shore power, that's great. You know, you go to a campsite, you can run things like this. You have your AC unit. You know, this is a roof mounted AC and in something this size, you know, under 21 foot, a lot of manufacturers will go to a wall mount unit. Uh, this will have you know twice the BTUs that the wall mount unit will have and you want to talk about cooling it down in a hurry That AC will certainly do it But again, you either have to have shore power or a generator to be able to run that so keep that in mind uh, If we take a look up top, we see storage, you know in a smaller RV storage is crucial So I like that you have big storage areas here uh, One of the things you will notice is the poles you have kind of the oil rub bronze poles 
I personally prefer pulls over knobs uh, just because it lets me get you know more hand on there. It just feels better to, to open it that way. Um, and I like the fact it's the oil rub bronze. It adds a little bit to it rather than being like a standard chrome or something like that. Microwave over to the side, need to microwave anything, you got the capability to do it. We talked about the sink and the cooktop. Underneath the sink, you can see some storage right there, plus you will notice the, uh, the drawer. You know, I always say in any functional kitchen, you have to have at least one drawer, there it is. That way you have a spot to put your flatware. Now, underneath that is a uh, furnace. Right, so if you're familiar with the Coleman 17B, it was a very, very popular uh, bunk model travel trailer. And it's kind of similar to this. It's smaller, it's lightweight, it's a bunk model, great family unit. It is a little bit less than this one. You know, this one's a few thousand more, but I know a lot of people had a complaint of, well, you know, that one only has a fireplace to heat it. And it's true, right? The 17B is not meant to do cold weather camping. It's meant to be a summer camper. And then, you know, you kind of supplement with that fireplace at night just to kind of help take the chill off. This one does have a furnace. So that will allow you to do a little bit, you know, colder weather, a little bit earlier in the spring, maybe a little bit later in the fall, and it will use propane. So you don't have to have that shore power generator to heat the RV. So that can be a pretty big deal, especially again, as I said, if you're just getting into RVing, you know, that can be a great feature. Um, and it, you know, cause again, it'll extend the camping season. You know, you get to get to go out more. As we take a, a look back a little bit further here, pantry space. Folks, this thing's under 21 foot and you get a pantry in here, which is awesome. So a lot of space to be able to store your other food. So you have, you know, good prep space. You have a uh, decent storage in here, a big pantry, plus your 12 volt refrigerator. I mean, folks, we're already knocking it out of the park with this one. Taking a walk back into the bathroom, I'll take a seat here. I always like to do this test, right? I call this the toilet test. I wanna make sure I have enough leg room, I have enough shoulder space, and I mean, it's in abundance here. I have no issues whatsoever. Uh, not that I'm gonna hide out in here for a long period of time, but I don't feel like I'm closed in, in you know, pooping in a closet either. So uh, I do like that it's a little bit more open. Over to this side is a tub shower. Now, why do I like a tub? Well, in a bunk model, I like it because, you know, sometimes your kids may not be ready to shower. Maybe they're a little bit smaller and you still want to give them a bath. Maybe you're bringing a dog and you want to bathe them in the bath. This gives you the capability to do that. When I take a step in here, this is another important one for me. This is something you'll notice if you're shopping lightweight, smaller RVs. This is one of the big ones is ceiling height in the shower. Folks, I'm six foot tall. Even without this skylight, I can fully stand in here with it. I can probably be six one, six two, and still be able to fully stand up, right? You know, I'm, I don't have to duck down or anything like that. I'm, I'm fully erect in the shower. Everything's out. Sorry, that was really bad verbiage. Um, I, I, can, I can fully stand up in the shower here. I don't have to duck down. Everything is good. Uh, I got the hand wand there to nice and easily shower off. Uh, if I take a step back out, we'll go out into the, uh, the living area here. Why don't, you, why don't you take a step out there, Fritz, <laughs> fighting with the door. Uh, turn around right over here to the bunks. So this is the other thing I want to mention, right, is the bunks. So we talk about a family RV. You want to start getting out RVing. This will let you do it. I will sneak in here just to kind of show you size. So at six foot tall, I can fully extend out. Now, I am touching both on, you know, the, the top and the bottom, but, you know, if I curl up a little bit, which naturally, this is probably how I would sleep, have a pillow right here, I can still do it, which is pretty great. So, you know, even if you have uh, teenagers, you're still able to have them sleep in here. And here's the other thing. You know, we talk about multi-use. Maybe, you know, most of the time you take the kids out. Maybe sometimes though, you know, you wanna take it and you wanna have a, a hunting trip, a fishing trip, a wine trip, something like that. This still allows you to do that. Um, you know, my wife and I went on a wine tour in Traverse City. I, I'm from Michigan and uh, we took an RV and it is super fun. It's, it's a great thing to do. I highly recommend it if you haven't done it before. Uh, just a ton of fun. We'll see the dinette. You can sit four people here, no problems. The whole family can sit right here, have a meal together. Nice sturdy table too, you know. Good table to, to do a little sea shanty on. You know, I, I can't sing, but here we go. Ready? So, soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Something about when the tongue is done, we'll take our leave and go. Yeah, see, close enough. Right, uh, for the record, uh, that's from my wife watching TikTok as I'm sleeping in bed and hearing it. There you go. That one's for you, honey. Um, but you know, nice solid table right there. The dinette does drop down into additional sleeping space. So this is where that fifth sleeping space is coming. You have one person top, one in the bottom, 
two up front here and another one there. You'll also see across the top some additional storage. There you go. All right, guys, you may have to auto-tune that, that singing. I, you know, I don't have the voice of an angel like everyone on TikTok. When you go home up front, so this will be the main sleeping space. Um, you will notice over to the side, you have a spot to store some of your clothes. Storage across the top here as well, and TV hookups. So if you do want a TV in here, this is where you would mount it. You got the TV hookups there. You will see USB ports, electrical outlet right down below. So if you have like a CPAP machine or just want to charge a cell phone, you have the capability to do that. And if we take a look underneath the bed, look at that. You get access to that storage. So here's what's kind of interesting with this floor plan is the storage itself is not on the camp side. It's on the off camp side. And so, you know, you'll have to go around to grab a lot of these items from the outside, but the majority of it you can grab right here inside too. So it does give you, you know, a few different options because you don't want to have to crawl all the way in to grab it. So if you're pushing something way in here, you know what I would do is any items that I plan on using inside, I'd put close to here. Items that, you know, I probably have for outside, like fishing poles, pool noodles, things like that, have closer to there. So that way I grab it from the outside. Just makes sense. But again, folks, something like this, you know, it uh, under 2,700 pounds, under $5 a day, I'm telling you, if you're starting to get into RVing, you're thinking about it, this is an excellent model to do it. Uh, as we take a step out here, I'll show you a couple different things with the door. So the first one is going to be this. So, you know, normally, right, in order to get in here, you'd have to open this up, you'd have to grab a handle and mess with it. With this one, I'll close it, all you have to do is flip this right here, that opens up just like so, clips into the door nice and easy, we'll shut that. You'll see that they also put this uh, kind of, I don't know what you want to call it, like a crushed glass look in here. Um, and what that does is it lets light in, but it still gives you privacy, right? So that way people aren't intruding and looking inside, but it does still bring in some light and help make sure things are nice and bright. Another cool feature, look at this. You get a power awning on here and it spans the entire length of the trailer. All you have to do is touch a button, that thing rolls out. Same thing to roll back in. You know, it's super simple and easy to use, which I love. Coming up to the front, right here's your 20 pound propane tank. So as I mentioned, this one has a furnace, it has a cooktop. You have to have some kind of way to power it. And that's exactly what that propane does. You'll also see that you have the battery space right behind that, diamond plating there, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we come around to this side, I wanna show you this outside storage. I looks like I need to sweep it up a little, but you can see right there, right? So that is a big storage area, I mean, that is really deep. So if you have, you know, some of those longer items, you are still able to fit them in there. Uh, single axle, you know, so it's nice and easy to travel around with. You'll see your 30 amp power cord just tucks right inside, take it out, plug it in, good to go. Water connection, your city water will be right there. And then your uh, fresh tank will be located right here. Again, 36 gallon fresh tank, termination right down below with both your black and gray tank valves. So again, folks, if you're looking to get into RVing, the 18BH right here is an excellent family model. Now, if this is the one that you're like, yes, Ian, this is it, it's perfect, great. Text RV to 46642. However, maybe you don't need a bunk model. Maybe it's just for the two of you, or maybe you know, you're looking for something a little bit different, some feature this one doesn't have. That's great. We can help you out. Over 100,000 pieces of inventory here and on order. Simply text the word FRESH to 46642. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. We are so excited to be talking about RVing in the wintertime. Yes. Bryce from uh, the Jurgies, of course, and uh, Sean Parr, good to be here. And you know what I love? I love the comforts of getting out of the wintertime. And oh, look who joined us. Hi, Nellie. Speaking of comforts. You don't look comfortable at all. Speaking of comforts, you know, that's being, the best thing about winter. Being out on the road, you got, you got all these great things that uh, actually make 
being out on the road during the winter time because people think, oh, we got to put our RV in storage, we got to winterize it, we don't really want to use it during the winter time. It's actually just the opposite. We've talked to so many amazing people like yourselves who love to be out, uh, especially in the winter time. Yeah, it's it's so good. There's so many benefits. Um, one of them in particular <laughs> is less people in a lot of places. Like, so for example, last week when we weren't on the show, we went through Texas and New Mexico, coming up to Southern Utah, and uh, we, we were the only ones in an RV park, a really nice RV park for a few days. It was, it was great. We went through Monument Valley. Nobody was there. Usually it's really crowded. Mm -hmm. So people, yeah, they put their RVs away. Little do they know, it's like almost the best time to travel. And we love people. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course but, you do. But it's nice to like be able to take your time on a place that's heavily saturated during high season everyone taking photos and stuff and you're able to enjoy it more so yeah and you see behind us all the amazing things that you can actually use to help winterize your travel during the winter time and i love something like this it's it's uh you know interchangeable where you can you know, you're feeling a little flannel you've got These it going are on they're very comfortable they keep you nice and warm you got the heat space heaters you got all kinds of wonderful things you know one of the things i noticed also that we have at camping world in our retail uh our uh, stores are, is the amazing heated hoses and different things like yep. that that you can use for your RV that it's just we have everything you could possibly need to get out and enjoy the winter absolutely these are game changers little do we know we what we were in Virginia our first like winter when it got below freezing yeah, and we, we were, were frantic noobs. we were like what do we do we didn't even know <laughs> We hadn't tested out the furnace yet on the Class A that we got, and so when it was colder, like let's just turn up the temperature, and it kicked on and worked, and we're like, oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but we we didn't have a heated hose. We yeah, we kept every RV park. If we didn't have one, they're just like, well, you need to get. So we were just there for a day or two, and we kept going south, barely keeping up with the mm -hmm. temp like warm temperature. Yeah, and think Kinda about warm. that. Uh, speaking of going south, when you go to you can go you can go coast to coast if you really want to. When you think about it, you Absolutely. go to Florida. It's beautiful in the winter time. You head down to the west coast. Say you park at Newport Beach, Huntington Beach, over there in the the Newport Dunes somewhere, mm -hmm. where you know it's California for goodness sakes. If it gets down to sixty, they're looking for sweaters and jackets and beanies <laughs> like you were wearing. But Absolutely. you know, listen, we're out enjoying that because we're from the Midwest and we enjoy you know cooler temperatures. We've got everything you could possibly need including these comfortable chairs where you can just sit build a toasty fire keep yourselves nice and warm and and that's really what this lifestyle is all about rving doesn't just have to be in the spring or summertime yeah you can totally do it in heavy snow heavy winter too like our rig has insulated underbelly there's heated plates on the tanks so it keeps the water from freezing and the black and gray tanks so it's fine it's like rated to zero degrees and all this stuff actually like we're comfortable we got heaters, we got the heated hose, we're, we're comfortable and able to live. And you're close to resorts and snow sports. Like We're not worried about staying anywhere. Boondocking, pulling on the side of the road, a campsite, we're never worried, which is such a relief. Yeah, and the best thing about it is Ian and Chris have taught us so much about winterizing and, and what to use. And we've talked a lot about products for the winter time. As a matter of fact, let's jump back into our Gulfstream and Lighten series and take a look at another amazing unit. So we saw what the entry level in Lighten looked like, but what about a mid-level? Right, so let's say you know, you love the fact that you could sleep the family, but maybe you had the 18BH, maybe you wanna move up, maybe you want something with a little more space, or maybe you just wanna right out the gates. You're like, you know what, I know that I'm gonna want a big slide out, I'm gonna want some more space, I want larger bunks. Well, luckily for you, we have this one right here, which is the Alighton 27BHS. Now, as far as price point, it is a little bit of a jump, but it's nothing crazy, right? This one is starting at $28,995, so less than $10,000 jump. As far as uh, your daily, you're looking at $7.17, so about two bucks a day will move you from the 18BH to the 27BH. So let's take a look at some of the differences. First thing I wanna touch on and I, I always like to start on the kitchen, right? I, I don't know, maybe it's because I, I do a lot of cooking when I camp, um, but I personally like having a good kitchen space. And so what you notice is here, because it is bigger, we're able to put in an L-shaped kitchen. And with that, that allows us to have both the double bowl sink, the recessed cooktop, and we still have prep space, which is something, again, it's a little bit tougher when you're talking about a smaller RV like the 18 we looked at. Now, you know, it also have space over to this side. The cool thing about this, you can put a coffee maker right here, right? And that way you can still utilize all this space, still have prep. The, the cooktop is recessed and you have the glass cover. So you can utilize that as some prep space as well. 
Now that three burner cooktop, right, this just folds kind of up and back like so. That doubles as a backsplash because the glass is nice and easy to clean, but you do have a panel back there too, just in case you get a little extra splatter. The th with the three burner cooktop, the front one, and pretty much every uh, cooktop I've seen in an RV, if it's a three burner, the front one's high output. Now that's gonna be important if you're boiling water, especially, you know, we're out west, you start to look at higher elevations. You're, you know, if you're gonna be boiling water, that front one is probably the one that you want to use. Now this is a Greystone unit, knobs light up, kind of like it does on the Furion. You know, very similar in functionality. We'll drop that down, you can see the, uh, the oven right there. And over to the side, if you take a look at that, why do I love this? Well, that's where it gives you room for a trash can, right? And again, if you know me, you know that I hate hanging trash bags for my poles. I would much rather have a dedicated spot for it, and that's exactly what I get. Now, the cool thing about this is this is an upgraded countertop, right? You know, it's not a T-mold, and that allows you to undermount the sink. So it's nice and easy to clean up, just like so. You don't get that, you know, the, the edge with the sink where a bunch of crumbs and stuff get in. This one also has a high-rise pull-out faucet. Now, you know, if, if you've been RVing, you know how nice a, a pull-out can be as far as washing and rinsing dishes. Also, you know, for your coffee maker, I take a Keurig when I camp, and I would have that right here, and all you have to do is take this, fill up that water basin right there, right? You know, I can just kind of pull it out, fill it up. Don't even have to worry about, you know, taking the reservoir out of the coffee maker. I can just lift the lid and fill it up right there. Now, if you do that, you know, remember, and I don't know if you're coffee people, but if you are, you know, the... Uh, the quality of water definitely makes better coffee. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have an inline filter. I highly recommend it. We sell them in the parts store if you don't have one already. It is one of them that are on my essentials list. You know, you have to have a water filter. You wanna make sure you have a pressure regulator. Uh, you're going to want a surge guard, right? There's certain things you wanna make sure you have. A water filter is definitely one of them that I absolutely recommend as an essential. Coming around to the side, you can also see that you have some access there as well as a little bit of additional storage for, you know, pots, pans, you want to kick a couple shoes in there, that's cool too. Uh, storage across the top, you know, they went with frosted glass, looks great. You have your microwave as well as your hood right uh, next to that. Furnace will be located underneath, you can see that direct vent furnace right there, make sure everything in here stays nice and toasty. and you get the Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. As you can see, this one is on and we don't have shore power. So why is it on? Well, because it is 12 volt compressor driven. So it's running off the batteries, which is pretty cool. Uh, especially if you have, you know, a two deep cycle batteries and then you throw uh, some solar on there, chances are you can run this pretty much indefinitely, which is fantastic, which is one of the reasons these Enlightens are good for boondocking, you know? So if you're, that's something you're planning on doing, I would definitely recommend getting a, a second battery and some solar. When you come over a little bit further, you will see pantry space as well as wardrobe. Now, this pantry space can of course be used for pantry, but when you have bunks, right, you may need extra space for clothes. You have this here, and maybe, you know, you put something down below for dirty clothes, but you also see you have a drawer down there, so you have lots of options. You want pantry, great. You need extra space for clothes, great. You can have that too. And then right here is our bathroom. Come on back. A uh, couple things I like about this. So one, as I always mention, I have plenty of space to sit here, right? Good shoulder space, good leg space. Now there's also a door right here. If you're new to RVing, I've had a lot of people that are new and this freaks them out, having a door right in front of the toilet. Uh, I'm here to tell you, no one can see inside here. I promise you, if you can make out a face through that glass, you, I have Superman x-ray vision. Like, they're, they're, you're just not gonna be able to do it. The second thing, this red switch right here, this is like the opposite of what you're told as a child, right? If you flip this red switch, which you can, and if you're here and you're nervous about it, flip the red switch, that's a deadbolt nobody's coming in there. They're going to go to grab on the door. It's not moving. So don't let that freak you out, especially because it is so beneficial. Um, if somebody has to use the bathroom, whether it's you, whether it's the kids, this right here is great because you can open the door. You can come right in, do what you have to do and leave. Uh, you don't bring in all the dirt or the sand or, you know, everything else in through the entire camper, all through the, you know, the living room and the kitchen and everything else. You just come in, do your business, head right back out. I love having a door. In fact, that's one of the big advantages of having the bunks on the off camp side is at the camp side, you get the bathroom. And when the bathroom's on the camp side, you get the second entry door. Also, good size sink right over here to the side with some storage underneath for your black tank chemicals, extra toilet paper, everything else you're gonna need, electrical outlet there, mirrored medicine cabinet rather than just having you know a mirror. 
They actually want the medicine cabinet, which I like, and there's an LED light right above it. So that way, you know, you can actually get some decent lighting in here, especially with having this window. It brings in some natural light. You know, I, 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 my wife has told me that it's very different, uh, you know, when lighting from natural light to light inside. So you want as much natural light as possible, you know, when you're putting on makeup or whatever, and that'll help you do it. Standing here in the tub, you can see I can fully stand up. I have that skylight there, so no issues. I can be, you know, 6'2 in here, stand up here quite easily. You have the decorative surround as well, which looks nice, and the tub. So if you want to give the kids a bath rather than the shower, you have the ability to do it in the bathroom. Making our way back out, Teddy Bear Bunk Series, double over double bunks. This is probably the preferred bunk uh, in the industry, right? Now, if the weight allows, most manufacturers will put these in because people like them more. Why wouldn't you? It's, it's a bigger bed, uh, especially if you plan on having any adults sleep in here. These are great. One of the other things, there's a couple things I really enjoy too about this one. One is this right here, the fact that you have a built-in ladder. Why do I like that? Well, uh, I don't know about everyone watching at home, but uh, my five-year-old, she loves bunk beds, right? She loves the top bunk. And this right here makes it very easy for her to climb up in there. Uh, it's hard for her to take a you know step on the bottom bunk and jump up in. But when you have something as simple as this built-in ladder, she can climb up. She is the top bunk. You want to talk about making a great camping experience if they don't have bunk beds at home. I promise you this right here is what will do it. Another thing that I like as much as I hate is the fact that both bunks have electrical outlets, right? And the one even has USB ports. The reason I say I love it and I hate it is it's a double-edged sword. I go camping because I do want to get away from electronics. You know, I want, as so my good friend Chris Young says, right, I want to sit down right here at the dinette and I want to reconnect with my family. Because that's why one of the big things I love about camping. That's one of the things I remember. But also, on a rainy day, I also don't want my kids, you know, running all over, jumping on top of me nonstop. So if they can sit up here and, you know, watch tablet, uh, watch something informational, you know, brainchild or something where they're learning, uh, I like the fact that they can sit up here and kind of have their own space in those bunks. The other great thing about this floor plan, of course, is the super slide. And folks, this really is what helps open this floor plan up. You have the dinette where four people can easily sit. This drops down into a bed. Simply remove the legs and the table right here. Uh, I'm not going to sing again. We saw how terrible that was last time, so I'm just going to let that one slide. Um, but, you know, you do have enough room for four people to, to sit and have a meal together, play a game together. Um, you know, I, I, I've always said, like, I'm a big board game person. I really like it because, you know, it's all a family, right? We're all together. We get to play a game. We get to learn. We get to learn, you know, strategy and everything else right here at the table. And, uh, again, have that reconnection time. You have lights up top, wall scones, USB port there, and you get a jackknife sofa. Now, the great thing about a jackknife sofa, yes, it does fold down into a smaller bed, which is what helps this one sleep eight. But more importantly is this right here, and that is all the storage you get underneath. Folks, this is a great space to put you know, extra bedding, whether it's blankets, sheets, pillows, things like that. Just toss it right in there. And again, if you do want to watch TV, this is where the main TV will be located here. You can see you have your, uh, your AV cables also plug into the back to the TV. They're connected to this unit, this sound bar. This one does control the speakers, well, this sound bar here, uh, as well as the speakers outside. And it does have an HDMI and USB port built in in case you want to plug in anything else. Also worth noting, this one does have ducted AC. You can see that up on the roof, as you'd expect if the 18 had it. You know, you better hope the 27 has it. Let's come on up front right here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just have you pop in there. So I have a pretty big butt, so it's hard for me to scoot around the base of this bed. Uh, but I just want to show you. So you do have two entrances and exits for that exact reason, right? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not sneaking through there. There is just no way. But that's why they give you two doors. And it also makes it so it makes it simple, right? You know, you can get on either side of the bed very easily. You have wardrobe on both sides. You have electrical outlet and USB port on both sides. And you have a shelf right here across the top, plus storage underneath the bed. I'll lift this up real quick just to kind of show you. So there you go. So you have storage. It is strut assisted. Very easy to, to uh, access whatever you need to down in there. And folks, that's just what we have on the inside. There's some things I want to show you on the outside too. Um, some things that are going to be a little bit different, again, when we step up into the 27 over the 18. So starting off, we'll go right up front. Let me show you here. If you remember on the 18, we had the same uh, siding on the front that we had on the side, right? You have that uh, rolled aluminum, but I really like the smooth because, you know, it's a lot easier to clean. Your bugs and everything will get smashed here. Super easy to clean. I love that. 
you know, you, you have two 20 pound propane tanks uh, instead of a single. Still, you have the uh, power tongue jack right here so it's easy to hook up and disconnect. You'll see a spot for batteries right there. You know, the, as we come and take a look, you get full pass-through storage on this one. Uh, you know, you're gonna go to double axle. You have the st solid step, power awning with LED lights, two entries. Folks, this thing really is great. I'm telling you, if you're interested in any of the Gulfstream Enlightens, you're gonna wanna make sure you text the word FRESH to 46642 so we can make sure we're getting the right one for you. Oh, thank you so much, Ian. Sean Parr with Sean and Renee, the Flippin' Tilbys. I flippin' love you guys. I'm going to say that every time I see you. They're going to be with us again in a couple of weeks, but it's great to have you guys here in the beautiful state of Utah. You guys know all about fifth wheels, and Sean, I know the Fusion's caught your eye. We've been so looking awesome. at all these amazing units all morning long, all day long, and you turn on, you look, and you see there they are, the f <laughs> the Flippin' Tilbys having a good time with your family, five kids. Yep, yep, we love them. Of course you do. <laughs> but how about traveling with them could be a little interesting at times, I'm sure. It is, but you got the campground, you chase good weather. It's great. It's awesome. Yeah. And Sean, what are some of the things that you've seen so far in the new 2021 fusions that have caught your eye? I think probably the biggest thing, and just going back to this morning, you know, when we were waking up with all of our kids and one and a half bathrooms. Would be it seems so like every nice. one of them has one and a half bathrooms. Yes. And with a family of seven, that one bathroom gets a little crowded. So having that second half bath there, I, that's probably the biggest thing that's standing out to me in those those new fusions. Yeah, and when you're talking about a half bath, you know, when you have seven people, it makes you think, well, a half bath, is it really that big of a difference? Heck yes, it's that it big is. of a difference. And of course, you guys have been living the lifestyle. You do a lot of renovating to RVs. When you see a 2021, you're getting new ideas, I'm sure too, right, Renee? So many good ideas. And like Sean said, I love the half baths. I love more counter space. They really are doing such a good job of just being able to get a lot of stuff in a small area, um, multiple slide outs, all those things. It just really is amazing. So seeing the new layout is just amazing. The side deck. The side, side deck, deck looks out. sweet. No. <laughs> Party decks. Wait until you see what we've got for you right now. We're going to take a look at the Keystone Fusion 429, and Chris is all over this one. At 44 feet long, 15,600 pounds dry weight, can easily sleep eight and has all the amenities that you want to find and you know you're going to find in a Keystone. Welcome to the Fusion 429. What's up? It's Chris Young. You are looking at one of the best and most beautiful fifth wheel toy haulers that you're going to find on the market today, the Keystone Fusions, known for that quality construction. For example, the molded fiberglass end cap with that automotive coating, the aggressive profile that helps with wind resistance while going down the road, the Rotaflex fifth wheel hitch. Beautiful, also has a wider turning radius and some other fifth wheel hitches. Not to mention our Onan 5500 Cummins generator to help extend that camp season. My LP tanks are in here, finished off storage. And during the Ultimate RV Show national tour, I'm going to try to show you as many features as I can. But with these Keystone Fusions, there are so many things in them. And if you have questions, we have specialists standing by right now to answer them. They will give you a virtual walkthrough, answer everything that they can for you, and help you get the right one for your lifestyle. But if you're looking for something that has the strut supported storage, pass through, finished off, heated and enclosed underbelly. I got my LP quick connect so I can do some cooking right there. Maybe you're looking for a triple axle fifth wheel with that CRE 3000 suspension to really help with that rocking and chucking going down the road. Sitting on some beautiful 15 inch aluminum rims with the Dexter Easy Lube axles, six point automatic leveling system, twin 30 pound gas tanks, pound, twin 30 gallon gas tanks <laughs> to help keep your toys and your generator going because one of them is tied directly to the generator. Not to mention the frameless tinted safety glass, then they will help walk you through. And all you got to do to get in on this one is drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642 because this beautiful Keystone Fusion 429 starts at $84,995 or as low as $17 a day. I'm going to get to that toy deck here in just a minute. But first, let me welcome you to your new vacation home. Imagine parking this at the base of the Rockies, taking this tailgating, taking this wherever you want to go, to the golf course, to the ski lodge, wherever you want to go, that's where you can take your 
toy, your, your toy haulers. And the Keystone Fusions are built with all of those features and amenities. For example, the Thomas Paine luxury furniture. Here we have the sectional that has the recliners on both sides with the heat, the massage. I got my little end tables. I can pop in there if I want to. Right across from my luxurious Thomas Paine recliners, same thing, heat and massage giant panoramic windows, which since this is a fifth wheel toy hauler, you're going to get extra tall slides, extra tall ceilings, large entertainment, and more importantly, larger value. Because the way Keystone has made this, from everything, from their in-command system, to their color-coded wiring, to just, I mean, come on, the hyperdeck flooring that we have here which is going to help with the insulation, help with the cleaning, be easy to clean, slip resistant, water resistant, to the three-quarter ton Omni-Chill air conditioner that gives you three ACs inside this beauty. You can't beat it. Take a look at my giant TV, which is on the swivel, comes out and turns wherever I want to take it. My decorative bar here, my Jensen AM FM Command uh, entertainment system with the built-in speakers which plays your DVDs, your CDs. You can also run it from your cell phone and my fireplace and my kitchen. For 2021, what they did with the kitchens blew me away. This maximizes the space because, Kev, I want you to check out. I'm right here at the sink doing some washing. I could turn right here, do some cooking. I could turn right here and do some prepping. But the most important part, somebody could be doing the same thing around me no matter where I'm at. Thanks to this extension of the solid surface countertop, plenty of storage. I mean, that's just a keystone thing. You're going to get storage all over the place. We're going to get a convection microwave oven. We're going to get that beautiful dark on light with the inlays, not only in the accents here in the furniture that makes this look like a rustic, just getaway mountain cabin, but it's solid. It's well built. They even put wood strips on the seams, not only for the additional support, but for the additional beauty to the eye. It just looks good. But right here, I'm loving it. Got my seamless solid surface countertops. Got power port here. I got USB charging and a power port here. So if I want to set up a coffee station, charge my cell phones, I can. I got my generation three in command. So if I want to run everything from my cell phone, I absolutely can. Just beautiful, luxurious. I got my fridge freezer combo right here. Sorry, I take out the retainer pin. These are great because when you're traveling down the road, it gets to make sure your doors don't go flying out. And this is the hair fridge freezer combo. So look how beautiful that is. The great things about the fusion, some of them run on gas electric, the fridges, some of them run on 12 volt. Uh, regardless, you have the option of getting either or. Uh, with over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, over 20,000 on the lot, you'll be able to pick what you want to pick. I got myself a loft up top with the AC. We're going to get to the garage and the party deck last. But before we do that, let me walk up just past my road back system on my bottom step here to my barn style door leading into my pass through bathroom with that single surround shower. This is what I like about the Keystone Fusions. A lot of them come standard with the same setup when you're talking about the bedroom. You'll get a king size bed, usually in a slide. You'll get the pass through bathroom, which allows you to have your separation of space. Your friends, your family can come access the bathroom. If you're asleep in the master, it won't bug you and vice versa. You got barn door leading into the bathroom from the outside, pocket door leading into the master bedroom, and right over here inside my wardrobe, I got shower or washer dryer prep, closing door, sliding door, and more storage there. Plus I got storage under, underneath my king size bed. TV here right above another solid wood balance, beautiful large panoramic windows, plenty of storage inside these beautiful fusions. I mean, th these are some of my favorite fifth wheel toy haulers. I've, I've always said, if I didn't have a motorized, I would have a fifth wheel toy hauler, I would have the fusion. Because, like this one right here, the 429, 44 feet long, 15,000 pounds dry weight, sleeps eight, starts at 84,995, or as low as $17 a day. It's got a 106 gallon fresh tank and twin 88s, 88 gray, 88 black. That is extended camping right there. That's some of the largest you're going to get, even for a fifth wheel toy hauler. Come on, man. I mean, we really can't beat that. And speaking of beating, 
I'm going to go through my beautiful tinted temper glass door to get into my garage, a.k.a. party deck. Love how Keystone Fusions did their garages. You got the rubberized slip resistant flooring. I got the adjust to track system, which gives me 38 tie down points. Yes, this is welded to the frame, so it's secure. But with the adjust to track, it's not just a D ring that's in the floor. You get all these spots. So if you want to pull in, like this is a 13 foot garage. So if you want to pull in, you side by side. You want to pull in your Harley. Bam. I could tie it down wherever I need to. There's my solid Moride steps that I can put on my party deck. I'll show you that here in a minute. I got queen size sofa slash bed combo and queen size bunk bed combo. This is where that functionality, that option of being able to sleep multiple people comes in. Sure, if you're hauling toys, toy hauler is your bet. That's what you got to have. But if you say, Chris, we just need separation of space. We're going to go do a lot of tailgating. We're going to just set this up somewhere so we have a vacation home, but we need a separate area for people to sleep. This is your spot. These fold off into couches. You even have the fold down cup holders in the middle. Yes, they also double as beds. Right now we have them up so you can see the amount of space that you have in between each. Then when you throw in the Jensen Entertainment, the quality construction on the storage compartments, and my beautiful wall armor patio system that allows me to have the screen so if I want some airflow and turn this into a porch or the tinted windows to allow for some privacy and just separate everything off I can 3500 pound capacity when this is a load ramp you're looking at an 8 foot door 1500 pound capacity when it's a party deck I got the suspension netting around or the security netting to go around and here's my open spot for my Moride steps so you got your main entry point but if you have family or friends that want to come in and join you for your throwdown, come on in the porch we're having ourselves a good old time drinking some of that Rocky Mountain the Coors and having me a Coors because the mountains are blue and boy, they're beautiful when they're blue and white. I got the Thule Crown Scissor Arm awning coming off the back. But just absolutely beautiful. These Keystone Fusion 429s, uh, I mean, once again, starting at 84995 can easily sleep eight, 44 feet in length, 15,000 pounds dry weight. And right now, those prices are only going to be good during the Ultimate RV Show. If you want to get in on it, you say, Chris, I love it. How do I get it? Just drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Now, with 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, tons of Keystone Fusions out there, they've combined a lot of the floor plans, so you have some really good options. you got some with the side decks, but all of them give you opulence and residential features that you aren't going to find in a lot of RVs. But if you say, Chris, a 429 is great. I need something with a little bit more space. Or I need something not 44 feet long. I got you. Just drop a comment down below, fresh or text fresh to 46642. Now, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we're out here with the beautiful mountains. I mean, we got Utah, we got Colorado. There's so many great places to take your RV and do things outside, skiing, hunting, fishing, biking, hiking. Oh, my goodness. You might, along the way, run across some competition. And you might think that the competition would give you a good deal. Or they might talk you into a good deal. You might think that. You might also think that eating with, chop, one, with uh, one chopstick is a good idea. Both would pretty much garner the same results, in my mind. But if you think you got a good deal, give me a chance to beat it. We will beat it, or we'll give you a 1000 bucks in cash. Just drop me a comment down below, beat, or text beat to 46642. Easy as that. Trust me, you're not going to find anybody that's going to give you a better deal. We've got over 150 locations. If you do buy from a small shop and you end up going somewhere that they don't have a location, what are you going to do if something goes wrong? Plus, we got the Good Sam membership. We got the extended warranty plans. We can just gear you up with Gander and Camping World, all the gear that you need for hunting, fishing, and hiking. I mean, come on. You really don't have any reason to go anywhere else. But I dig it. We're just going to give you the option. So, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is talking about those Keystone Fusions, and I got more coming up as we continue next. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. 
Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialists will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With all plans currently 50% off, you can't afford to get stuck without it. This is Shinazuna. Carl Malone is the best player ever. Randy Johnson. Oh, what's that? Oh, hey, hey, what's happening? Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Sorry, Chris Young just enjoying the. Uh, Keystone Fusion, did I say anything while I was in there, Kev? Was I, okay, all right, all right, all right. Yes, so the king-size beds that you get inside the Keystone Fusions are not only extremely comfortable, but since they're in their own slide, you get a lot of additional room inside the living space. Now, you got over six feet, five inches of space in the headroom here, and the Keystone Fusions are come with that same Keystone patent quality construction, upgraded features, residential, beautiful, and just gorgeous. And during the Ultimate RV Show, we're giving you some prices on these bad boys that are, quite frankly, outrageous. I've been a fan of the Fusion for a number of years now. I've been waiting to get one and thinking I might actually jump on it. So, for example, I'm in the 357. This one, 39 feet long, 13,600 pounds dry weight, can sleep seven people easily, starting at $79,995, or as low as $16.01 a day. That's less than 80 grand for a Fusion. That's huge. Anyway, here's the thing. I will not have a chance to get through everything that I want to get through, but we have a lot of people standing by who will be able to answer all those questions for you. All you got to do to get a hold of them is drop me a comment down below, RV if you want this Fusion, or Fresh if you want one of the over 80,000 coming, or text either or to 46642. Now, got my barn style door, my open door here, got my washer dryer prep, got some more storage there, a pass through bathroom which I like that the Fusions do that because you have your separation of space. And inside the bathroom, single surround, residential style shower, brush nickel fixtures, porcelain bowl. You know the story. I'm not giving you anything that you don't already know, hopefully, about how Keystone manufactures their beautiful Fusions. When you want to mix the best of both worlds, this is where you come. Right here in my kitchen, this beauty, this 357, opens up with opposing slides, giving me an island kitchen with a solid surface countertop, undermounted farmhouse style sink with sprayer. Oh, look. Oh, somebody's going to have a problem finding these later. Yeah, so Chris just might have to take this home with him. I got the flush mounted three burner cooked up here with the glass cover, giving me even more prep space, convection microwave oven, and 14, or excuse me, 18 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric now you do have the option of swapping out for the 12 volt just talk to our service folks if you'd like that option over here in my entertainment center on the angle beautiful large tv got the bar right here my entertainment center which is the jensen command dvd cd player the whole nine you can control it from your cell phone run the app i got my fireplace with the multi-flame setting multiple light settings but the best part about it Hideaway pantry storage. Yep. So when you get the good beer or you get the good Girl Scout cookies that you don't want people to find, this is where you put it. 
maximizing the space but giving you options and functionality, which is what Keystone is known for. I mean, it's beautiful. It's residential. Just take a look at my Thomas Paine couch that I have over here. The large midsection that folds down, my cup holders, my power port, my USB chargers. I got the heat, the massage. But, I mean, think about it for just a second. Let's just take just a minute. Sure, loft bunk. I got the sliding glass door leading me into the garage, which we're going to get to here in a minute. Residential features on my lights. Imagine you go wherever you want to go. Maybe it's the Rockies. Maybe it's to a Utah Jazz game. Who cares? It's what you wanted to do last year that we didn't get to do. But all of a sudden, now, you find yourself wherever you want to be. You crack open your cold one. You set it there in your cup holder. You're sitting beside your loved one. You're talking, you're reconnecting, you're disconnecting. You're having fun and enjoying the country in the safest way possible, which is in your own RV. You're not worrying about a hotel room and who's been in it and, you know, what's happened and hook, book and travel and all this other thing. You are in your home traveling safely. Large panoramic windows. You can watch the sun come up or go down over the mountains. I mean, just picture yourself doing it. And starting at $16.01 a day, you can do it. Easy to do. That's a deal that I don't think we can pass up. So we walk through our sliding glass door right here into the Fusion Garage. Love the rubberized floor, slip resistant with the adjust -a track system. Now, the great thing about the adjust -a track system, you got 38 tie points. That's great. You don't have just D-rings, you know, randomly placed all over here. You got multiple spots to hook in, and this is welded to the frame. So you're going to have that safety and that security of locking in your toy, your motorcycle, maybe it's your side-by-side, -side, whatever you want. Boom, you can lock it in. That right there is our solid steps that we can use on the party deck. Yes, there are solid steps for the party deck. Jensen and Sony have teamed up for the entertainment. You got the Jensen TVs and controls and Sony speakers that are also marine grade, so they're tough. Not only that, we have the Omni Chill three quarter ton air conditioners inside the Keystone Fusions. What does that mean? It means you get three ACs. Boom, let's just keep it at that. And a 35,000 BTU furnace. Add that to the HyperDeck flooring, that additional insulation, the zero to 110 degrees rating that we have on the insulation around this coach and you are going to have yourself a good time keeping the temperature wherever you want to want it, hot or cold. Now, the great thing about the Fusions, if you do have the loft bunk, the ladder is going to be stored right here. Some of them have the half bath. Some of the larger ones do. This is the 39-footer, the 357. Only weighs 13,600 pounds. That's dry weight. Three-quarter ton truck could easily tow that. Uh, hopefully. Let me not say that. Let your service specialist hook you up on that. Can sleep seven. Starts at $79,995 or as low as $16.01 a day. Throw that on top of the facts that we have two bed systems inside this beauty. You got this sofa and this sofa, which sits on the opposing walls. Put the table right there. Let the kids play the card games. Have fun. Do the reconnection here. Maybe they're in there watching one game. You're out here watching another game. The kids are on the party deck having fun, playing basketball, fishing off the back part of the party deck. If you've never pulled a toy hauler up to a lake or to a pond and fished off the back of it, it's an experience that you need to have. But this folds down into a bed as well. Queen size, queen size up there as well, giving you plenty of options. I got my patio wall armor right here to close me off when I want to close off, but it also gives me the option of having the fly net here or the tempered glass if I want to open that up. And of course, they do swing out to give you more room and to load in your toys. Come down my little dovetail here onto my party deck. 3,500 pound low capacity, 1,500 pound capacity when it's set up out here as a party deck. And right here is my little entryway. If I wanted to load those solid Moorite steps up, I could do that. But this is where you have your fun. And like I mentioned, fishing, you out there, hey, you look down, and the guy, hey, Bob, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm sorry, I just got to high ground catching more fish than you are catching. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. And for your chance to get this, once again, this is the Fusion 357. Starts at $79,995 or as low as $16.01 a day. 13,646 pounds dry, can easily sleep seven, 
Go ahead and drop me a comment down below, RV, or text RV to 46642. Or if you say, Chris, I like it, but I'm interested in another one of those over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Sure, I love the solid Moride step over steps. I love the extra large grab handle, the true fit slides, the frameless safety windows, the awnings with the LED floodlights, the side opening pass through storage, the six point automatic leveling system, the Onan 5500 watt generator, the additional storage up top, this painted fiberglass end cap with the automotive coating on it that not only looks good going down the road, but has that aggressive profile to stop wind resistance, the Rotaflex hitch to stop my chucking and bucking, my automatic leveling system, my external command center, my beautiful 15 inch aluminum rims with the CRE 3000 suspension system on there. My twin 30 pound gap, 30 pound. I need to stop saying 30 pounds because that's about what I put on during the holidays. My twin 30 gallon gas tanks, one tied directly to the generator, the other one ready to go for my toys or just hanging out. But I need something different. Okay, that's fine. I just went through a whole lot of stuff in a little window of time, but we have specialists standing by right now who will walk you through and help you get laced up and picked out the RV that's right for you. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, you can't beat the opportunity to go see America the safest way possible right now in 2021, the year of RV travel. Just text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below FRESH. But if you say, Chris, I like where you're going with this 357. You got the Thule crown awning coming off the back with the LED floodlights. You got the toolbox. It's got a heated and enclosed underbelly with 12 volt heating pads on the water tanks. And it's got a 106 gallon fresh tank, an 88 gallon gray tank and a 44 gallon black tank. I think I could do some extra camping, some extra season, given the fact that it's got great insulation. The Omni Chill three quarter ton AC, a 35,000 BTU heater on that bad boy. Man, we're out here. I'm going to go hit the Rockies this year. Maybe I'm going to go hit the Salt Flats. Go to town, baby. Ha ha! Get yours and get yours now. You can get this one starting at $79,995 as low as $16.01. You know what? $16 a day. I'm taking that one cent off. They can make, take it out of my paycheck later. As low as $16 a day. 13,646 pounds dry, 39 feet long, can easily sleep seven people in beauty and comfort that is going to be hard to find. If you want that, text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, RV. Now, you could go to the competition and try to look at something else. You could also take an accordion player on a deer hunt. Both would accomplish the same thing. But if you think you're going to get a better deal, give me a chance to beat it. Because I will beat it, or I'll give you a thousand bucks in cash guaranteed. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drive me a comment down below. BEAT. We will take on any deal because that's what the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about. Showing you the sum of the over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, and giving you a chance to see how great this lifestyle is. You don't have to give up anything from those creature comforts of home to get out and see America the safest way possible. So let's have fun. Find your RV as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99. Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Sean Parn, I've got Renee with me from the Flippin' Tilbys. And, of course, Renee, I love hanging out with your kids. We're out here playing so with basketballs and jumping on the – uh, amazing automobiles that we have, all the vehicles all the that we sports. have, the power so sport awesome. vehicles. As a matter of fact, I know I know this because I know Chris and we're like brothers. We dress the same. It's almost embarrassing, <laughs> but Chris loves talking about fusions. And we've got another amazing view, uh, vehicle coming up that he's going to show you. And also, we have a power sport section coming up with Ian we and your husband, do. Sean. Well, and Sean could talk about power sports and any kind of ATVs all day long. So he's extremely excited about that. And our kids have been playing on them the whole time we've been here. It's been incredible. So fun. It so really fun. has. And you know what? 
Here's the great thing. Having a family that lives the lifestyle out on the road with us as the uh, national tour continues, you get a chance to really kind of get into the lifestyle and see, you know, we've been in the RVs, we've been with uh, the Jurgies and their beautiful fifth wheel, and you really get a chance to see how you guys live and, and enjoy and really adjust enjoy when it. you have uh, five kids. But I know what your favorite part about being here with us on the national tour is. It's the giveaways. I love it. I love how many giveaways that Camping World and Gander Sports does. It's so much fun. And we're actually doing a giveaway right now. But we have tons more coming up. We are only in week six of 10 weeks. So if you text URVS to 46642, you also can be entered into our giveaways. And if you enter this week, you get entered into every single week. Correct? That's right. And if you don't so enter, awesome. you can't win. Who's our winner? Who is our winner? Okay, so we are giving away a $100 merch certificate. Ooh. Oh, so excited. Okay, and so our winner today is Melissa Stachowiak. Now, Whoa! So excited for her. By the way, not the easiest last name to say, <laughs> but Renee, you nailed it. Well, and Sean over here, he is the voice of the Golden Globes, and so I knew that he had my back if I messed it up too much because he has lots of practice. He's awesome. I'm going to introduce a guy who knows everything about the Keystone Fusion 373. Chris Young, take it away. <laughs> it's all about the Keystone Fusion fifth wheel toy haulers here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. The one I'm standing on the back of right now is the Keystone Fusion Impact Edition 367. You're looking at 12,607 pounds dry, 39 feet long, can easily sleep seven people, and right now during the Ultimate RV Show, starting at $64,995 or as little as $13 a day. That's something that you can't really pass up. Because with the Keystone Fusions, you get all the amenities that Keystone is known for, that quality construction, plus the comfort, the style, the accessibility, and all the options that come with a toy hauler. Right here, you're going to see we wanted to bring the ramp down, but you do have the option of setting up the party deck with the, with the netting, the barricade around it. You do have your ropes right here, which give you a 1,500-pound max load limit. Thank you, Jace. Yeah, when you lift that up and go flat, you got 1,500 pounds on the 8-foot ramp door or 3,500 pounds when you're loading up into that 13-foot garage. And if you notice my patio wall armor that we have right here on the back, this gives you the option of having the fly net. So if you just want like a screened-in porch or you also have the window, the tempered tinted glass that comes up so you can have a privacy deck or privacy patio if you want it. Airflow light blocking, whatever you need, you're gonna have the option with the Keystone Fusions. Gonna walk up my dovetail here into my garage. I got my 5,000 pound D-rings strategically located all the way around this garage. The rubberized slip resistant flooring, the ultra high ceilings. I got my Omnichill AC up there. And look, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we won't really get a chance to go through all the features of every unit that we want to. Because we've got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Over 20,000 already on the lots. But when you're taking a look at the Keystone Fusions, see if that works. Oh, yeah. You'll see you have opposing couches both on the camp and the off-camp side that both have these fold-down areas for the cup holders. They both convert into beds that are roughly queen size. They're comfortable. They're plush. But when they're up, they give you plenty of room to move your toys in. And here in this garage, I got myself a half bath. Yep, on a 39-foot toy hauler, I got myself a half bath. That's a nice option you usually see in more than 40 feet. Just saying. I got my key TV multi-source connection where I can hook up my satellite, my cable, all in one spot. Hang my TV right here. Washer, dryer prep right there. My Dometic controls from my Omni Chill right there, and another queen size bunk on, <coughs> excuse me, queen size bed, rather, on the chain drive, ready to come down whenever you want to do the sleeping. And that's what's great about toy haulers. Sure, if you need to bring a golf cart side by side, you know, you got Blade or you got, you know, some Harleys or whatever, <clears throat> this is your only option for bringing that stuff around. But when you need additional living space, separation of space, or additional sleeping arrangements, toy haulers offer you such great options for that. You got two beds right here that can easily sleep two adults. That's why this unit can sleep seven people. When you want to just set up and do some entertaining, set the couches out, put a table in between, which does come with a table, play cards, have the kids eat here, set up the party deck, close the gate door. You can have kids playing outside, or you can come out and enjoy the beautiful snow that we have out here this time of year. 
just so many great options to get out and see America the safest way possible. And since it's starting at $64,995 or as low as $13 a day, $12.99, you can't really beat that. To sleep seven, I mean, come on. Walk into the living area, and right away you are greeted with beauty and residential style and appeal that Keystone is known for. From the solid surface countertops, the farmhouse-style undermounted stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet and the extra-long sprayer nozzle, or as I like to use it as, this is when we do the karaoke nights. You know, because when you're out, cause you're out here, you start singing that Blue Hawaii, well, what was it, Blue Moon, Blue River, what was it, Kev? You wanted me to sing something. I came. I was gonna do the the, the Scooby Doo theme. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I'm in my Keystone Fusion. There you go. Boom. Got it. You owe me five dollars for that, Kev. This is where you can get together and have the reconnection spots. I got prep space over here. Good spot for the coffee station because I have a 110 mushroom light. Tons of storage. Tons of options. And here's the deal. There are so many things that you probably have questions about when it comes to your RV of choice. What are you going to get? Do you need a four-door Norcold fridge that runs on both gas and electric? Do you need a two-door? Do you need a 10-cubic foot? Do you need a 14-cubic foot? Do you need an 18-cubic foot? We have over 150 locations, tons of specialists standing by to help answer those questions for you. All you got to do to get a hold of someone with over 80,000 units coming to find the one that's right for you, text FRESH to 46642. Drop us a comment down below. FRESH, they'll be glad to help you out. I got my TV right here, which is on the swivel arm, so I can pull this out and watch it from the comfort of the couch. Or if I want to swing around, watch it while I'm making dinner, I absolutely could. Little component shelf there. And look at my giant, this reminds me of my Raheem radio I had back in 1988 when I was rocking my hammer pants. Look how big this thing is. This also can be controlled from your cell phone. But you got DVD, CD player, the whole nine. Right here is where I can run my generator because you do have an Onan 5500 watt generator. Check all my tanks, check my batteries, check the status of everything. More storage over here. And, of course, a loft bunk up there that the kids would love playing with. And when you're ready to sit back, relax, chill, enjoy the area, enjoy each other's company, maybe pull up to the mountains, watch the sunrise, watch the sunset, just reconnect and have fun. You can do it in the Thomas Paine leather couch recliners that have heat, massage, and the large fold-up arm, which, when you're ready to go to bed, boom, this also you can just crash out on. Now, Kick the recliner out, get that cross breeze going. That's a good night's sleep, man. It's a good night's sleep for anybody. Backsplash right there. Going to come up the hill to the pass-through bathroom. Now, Ken, this is where it gets tight. When we come in these fusions, this is what happens. We get to know each other a little bit better. But you're going to see what they've done with the fusions is they've arranged it so that you do have a pass-through bathroom. I love that just for the separation of space because if somebody's down there doing their thing, you're here in the master suite trying to go to bed, you can get your rest. They can come and go as they please with the bathroom and vice versa. You're not going to interrupt everybody. you got a single surround residential style shower with the bench seat. Plenty of prep space over here in the sink. you got yourself a king size bed with some storage underneath. I got over here in the slide my mirrored wardrobe absolutely beautiful I mean there are so many features so much space so many things that you can do with these Keystone Fusion toy haulers that it's mind-boggling we even have the hyperdeck flooring that is slip resistant easy to clean it's a laminated polypropylene laminated fiberglass flooring which really makes life better when you're talking about four season camping how well, because that lamination allows you to get more insulation underneath. Sure, you got already tremendous insulation on the sides, the front and the back with the astro foil barriers, the radiant foil barriers. You get, this thing is rated from zero to 110 degrees. Throw in the fact that underneath we have 12 volt heat pads for the tanks. You got a 106 gallon fresh tank, 88 gallon black, 88 gallon gray. That's extended camping. Hated off pass-through storage right here. Got my battery box right here. My Onan generator, 5,500 watts underneath. Take a look at my beautiful fiberglass end cap. Might be a little tight right here with the LED running lights. Automotive coating not only looks good going down the road, but also has an aggressive profile to keep that wind resistance at bay. 
true fit slides, automatic leveling system, and my Fusion external command center where I have my winterization, all my connections, my porthole to run my, 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 my cords through and all this and the other thing, my termination controls, my generator exhaust, 30 gallon fuel tank for the station here, ladder to climb over the back, get on top, do some RMP, and of course, come right back here to the back of the garage where this is really where you have fun. I mean, tour haulers are just fun. They're versatile. They're fun. They're affordable. They give you options for space, options for storage, options for sleeping. And at the end of the day, that's really what it's about. But there are so many things that we could tell you about these Keystone Fusions that we just would spend all day talking about them. But that's why we have, at over 150 locations, some of the best people in the world standing by to help you out. If you want to talk to somebody, give us a call, 877-297-8725. We have show specialists standing by to answer your questions and guide you through the process of finding the RV that's right for you. Do you want to go tailgate? Do you want to go to the mountains? Do you want to go to the lake? Do you want to go down to the beach? Do you want to just go do whatever? Tell them where you're going to go, what you're going to tow with, how many people you need to sleep, that will help find the one that's right for you. But during the Ultimate RV Show, the pricing cannot be better. For example, this Fusion 367 starts at $64,995, or as low as $12.99 a day. To sleep seven, 12,600 pounds dry, 39 feet long, that's the deal. For $13 a day, did you see that kitchen? Where can you find a hotel like that for $13 a day? And no, you can say, well, we can stay at Cousin Kathleen's, you know how Kathleen is with company. It's not nice. It's not fun. Just don't do it. You say, okay, Chris, yeah, that's cool, but you know what? We need something with more bucks. We need something that's a little bit bigger. Okay, no problem. We got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Something is going to be right for you, plus 20,000 already on the lots. And if you got one that's coming, it's not here yet, you can have them go ahead and reserve it for you online. You can do that. It'll even be delivered to you without you having to leave the comfort of your camp chair or house. Just drop us a comment down below, fresh or text fresh to 46642. Before you know it, you'll be on the party deck, tap dancing, doing your Danny K, and having fun in the snow time. How much fun would that be to see the kids out here running around and just enjoying life? Maybe you go hunting, you go shooting some hoops outside. You can put a basketball goal on top of that thing. Why not? Whoop. Get up there and practice your shack dunks. Go for it. Now, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, a lot of the competition is also jumping up and trying to, you know, raise their hands. Look, we got the Good Sand memberships, we got Good Sand Parks, we got over 150 locations. There's no need to go to the competition. There's also no need to put a screen door on a submarine. But there are some people out there that just want to watch the world burn, so they try to do it. If you are those individuals, then we will gladly beat whatever offer you think you're going to get. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, BEAT. We'll beat that deal. It'll give you a 1000 bucks in cash, guaranteed. It's been all about the Keystone Fusion Impact Fifth Wheel Toy Haulers. Hope you've had as much fun as I have. we got more as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues next. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a fifth wheel that sleeps six for only $1.94 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Man, oh man, those Fusion toy haulers are beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Ian Baker. I'm going, joined by my good friend, Sean, with the Flipping Tilbys. Sean, when you have toy haulers, we think about what goes in the back. That's toys, that's power sports. And I know you have a long history with power sports between you and your kids and Renee. Tell me a little bit about that. 
Yeah, I mean, I've been riding motorcycles since I was probably, I don't know, three, four, five years old, something like that. Um, we had a little Honda 50 motorcycle that my dad has uh, fixed up and made it really awesome for us. And, and that's what we all learned to ride on, me and all my brothers. And we still, to this day, we, we go out and ride our dirt bikes together as a family. And that's super fun that I've been able to get my kids into it as well. So all five of my kids ride dirt bikes. We, uh, we just love it. It's and, just and been such an amazing thing. How old's the youngest? He's three. And he's riding a dirt bike. He rides a dirt I bike. I love it. And that's, yep. that's the really cool thing when you talk about power sports. And we're going to see, we have a huge awesome lineup of Coleman Power Sports we're going to take a look at. We do have a couple of them here. We have more available at our stores. But the coolest thing is, like you said, you can start at three years old. There's a huge line, kind of grow up and graduate into some of these. So Sean, should we go check them out? Let's do it. Let's do it. So here we are, starting off with something a little more basic, right? We, we have our scooter. Um, the reason I love this, it's just easy to get around, right? Nice and portable, driving on the road. It's perfect for campus if you have, you know, as the kids start a little bit older, go to school, just drive from point A to point B. Yeah, small, lightweight. I, I don't have a lot of experience with the scooters, but they're everywhere. A lot of people use them. Um, it's, the scooters have become a really big thing over the last couple of years. They've, the, the fuel economy, everything with the, everything that's been going on, they're just so easy to hop on and just roll with. Yeah. It's, it's a great option for sure. And I'm glad you brought up fuel economy because, you know, it's a 49cc uh, engine, but you're getting 50 miles to the gallon on one of those guys. So, you know, can't, like you say, it's perfect really for beat cruising that. around. Yeah. Next up, we have our mini bike. Now, Sean, I know you told me a little bit something or something a little bit earlier that uh, I may have one of these in the family. We do have one of those in the family. My dad actually picked up one of these, uh, I don't know, maybe six months to a year ago. That he was really awesome. excited to find it. We brought it home. He's always been, like I said, a mini bike guy. Um, we've always had something in the family. He's got four or five laying around for all the grandkids. He wanted to find something that the adults could hop on and play on. And, and when he found this, he really liked what he sees. And so he picked one up. Yeah. No, I, I love it. Um, you know, because we talk about, I mean, they're looking at, let's see, I mean, just under 200 cc's for those guys. So, you know, it's, it's good for the kids, but it's also, like you said, if an adult wants to hop on and ride. It's, yeah, it's good for the older kids. It is a little bit much for the younger for ones. For sure, for but, sure. But uh, yeah, we, we've all hopped on, you know, we're, we're bigger, bigger guys and it, it carries us all around for sure. Love it. Let's move up to the next one. Now we start getting into the UTVs and there's a couple different options. I love the Realtree option on here. Uh, tell me a little bit about this. Like, what do you see? What do you like about this one? So this one looks really awesome. They've, they've gone ahead and done, I mean, really good suspension. You got dual A-arms down there. It seems to me that they've really built it really well. I don't have any experience with this one, but as far as UTVs go, something that's small enough that the kids can handle and control, it, it only has a top speed of about 25 miles an hour. Perfect. So you don't have to stress them getting out of control. It's going to be pretty stable and just very mild for the kids and then really comfortable as well. Yeah, and I, I like that you brought that up. You know, it's a little bit smaller for the kiddos and also a little bit lower max speed. If they do get themselves in a bad situation, you have a 2,500-pound winch Which on there. I was blown away, the fact that they come with a winch right, at, right on there. That's super awesome. Yeah, and then lastly, we get some little more for the adults, right? We start to get into the workhorse with the UT400. How's it going, guys? How doing are you guys good? doing? <laughs> eating, some, eating some cucumbers? Yum. This is Jesse and Avi. So the thing I love about this one here, I mean, you get the dump trailer in the back, you know, and like I said, it's, it's a workhorse and it is at a great price. If you're looking for something to get out there, do a little bit of work, this is the one. And the great thing about it, this is just some of the lineup we have at Coleman Power Sports, folks. If you didn't know Camping World and Gander Outdoors sold Power Sports, you know now. Come on out, check them out, you're going to love them. You know, when it comes to convenience, style, comfort, and just accessibility, not to mention options, whether you're hauling toys or just need separate room space and sleeping accommodations, toy haulers are a fantastic option for you to check out. And the Keystone Fusion brand has taken the best parts of those Keystone Montanas, those Keystone Cougars, that great quality construction, those wonderful layouts, and of course, all the amenities, and packed them into a Toy hauler. Welcome to the Keystone Fusions. What's up? It's Chris Young standing on the party deck of the 424. This 16,000 pound dry weight beauty, roughly 44 feet long, can easily sleep eight people. And usually you're looking at over 100 grand for these Fusion toy haulers, especially this 424, because this one has two party decks on it. I'm going to show you here pretty soon. But during the Ultimate RV Show, this one's going to start at $92,995 or as low as $18.61 a day. For 
a 1500 pound max capacity party deck, eight foot ramp, 3500 pound load door, rolling up in rolling up the dovetail into a 13 foot garage underneath the Thule Crown Scissor Jack armed awning, LED floodlights, and my favorite, the patio wall armor. This is great because you're able to do the screen. So if you want to have almost like a screened porch type of feel or the privacy glass, you got the tinted uh, windows that slide up right there and allow you not only some really good sunshade, but it's solid glass. They close so the temperature can stay where you want it to stay. Now, speaking of the temperatures here, eh, I mean, eh, summertime can still get pretty warm, but wintertime, you're going to stay warm with a 35,000 BTU furnace, and they have the OmniChill three-quarter ton air conditioning system inside the Keystone Fusions. What does that mean? That means three ACs, one in the master, one in the living room, and one back here in your garage. Speaking of the garage, take a look at my beautiful rubberized floor. Comfortable, slip resistant, easy to clean, but unlike the diamond plated rubberized floors that you see, this would be easier for the pets, the kids. If you want to turn this into an apartment or separate living area, you can because every fusion also comes with its own roll of carpet that you could just turn this into from a garage into a living space. Now, on the opposing walls here, we have the fold-out sofas. Love these because when you're stacked and loading in with your toys, they stay up against the walls right here. But in the Fusions, these are queen-size beds as well that have the fold-out cup holders right there. And we have another bunk bed right on top that is on the chain drive system. Love this because this is what I was talking about at the beginning with the functionality, the different options for sleeping arrangements. Sure, if you're going to haul toys, toy haulers is where you want to go. But if you need more room to sleep people, maybe you want to set this up as a separate apartment or you want to go tailgate. You want to go check out, you know, the jazz. You want to go check out, you know, whatever for some of those great sporting events that happen out here. You want to go to the mountains. You want to go just park, sit out and enjoy nature. Here's your space to, in, to be able to do that with your own porch on the back. All Keystone Fusions also come with the in-command generation three, which you can operate from your cell phone, run out your slides, cut on your AC, cut on your lights, cut on your heaters, whatever you need, all from the comfort and convenience of your cell phone. You're gonna get that Keystone quality construction with solid wood, the hideaway hinges all the way around. We got the Jensen Entertainment Centers inside the Fusions as well, where they've allowed you to get the upgraded entertainment features, not only with the TVs, but also with the sound system. You can control that too from the Jensen app on your cell phone. Large panoramic windows, storage ladder right here for my bunk, and a half bath in the back with a porcelain bowl and foot flush, upgraded residential style features. Look, the Keystone Fusions, if you're looking for upgraded residential toy hauler, this is your jam. I mean, hopefully you've heard about how great the Montanas and the Cougars are. They're some of the top selling mid profile and full profile fifth wheels over the last almost 20 years because of the quality construction that they put in there. Same thing with the Fusions. They've brought that quality and construction to the Fusions. I got the tempered glass door here, which is extra wide, leading me into my living space. But before I go, I want to talk to you a little bit about the adjust -to track system that's here on the garage floor. Welded to the beam underneath this frame, this is 38 tie points. A lot of times with toy haulers, you only get those D rings. Well, with the adjust to track system, you get multiple options to strap down whatever you want to bring in here. And with a 13 foot garage, we're looking at side by side. I can get a couple of Harleys in here, golf cart, whatever you want to get. You got the room and the space to tie it down safely and securely. Now walk into the living area. This is their Brindle decor, which is light, beautiful, Reminds me of almost like a Rocky Mountain cabin. Love how the feel and the flow works inside this Fusion 424. I step in onto the Hyperdeck flooring, which is a laminated polypropylene fiberglass floor. Uh, what that means is it's easier to clean, it's lightweight, you get more insulation underneath, and it's also water resistant. So you won't get that water buildup underneath. And since this has a heated and enclosed underbelly with the heating tanks or with the heating pad on the tanks, that really will come in handy when you're talking about rolling through some cold climates. Right here, I got my corner mounted kitchen area with plenty of prep space, solid surface countertop. These beautiful solid countertops not only really brighten up the decor in here, but 
gives me plenty of room if I want to put a coffee station over here. Maybe I want to put my microwave right here. I got my little 12 volt plug. I could even stand here, lean up against the wall with my CPAP machine, knock out for a little bit if I want to. Hardwood cabinetry, look at the space that I have here. And while we're looking up there, there's my loft bunk with the plush mattress up there. Even has my own little AC up there. That's where the kids are gonna be fighting to go spend the night. Over here on this side, I got a more prep space since the cooktop is flush mounted, three burner with the glass cover, and it's recessed. So if I wanna prep, I got space to do that right here when I'm ready to cook. Just fold it up, good to go. Grill style, great. Got the little LED accent light there, my Furion oven. So if I wanna bake some brownies, some cookies, some shrinky dinks, I can do that while I'm out here camping in my beautiful Keystone Fusion 424. Now, as I mentioned, this one starts at $92,995 or as low as $18.61 a day. For a chance for you to get out and see America the safest way possible, this is your vacation home. And this is a 18 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric. Yes, that is plenty of space to keep and store whatever you need to while you're on those long trips. This and the cooktop are inside of its own slide and you'll see that beautiful wood inlay that we have here really adding to that kind of rustic decor, light on dark. You can see the wood grain. You can feel the quality in the construction. And when you wanna sit back and kind of chill, check out my bar stools that extend back, heavy duty, Look, I'm over 200 pounds. I'm not going to tell you how much because we're still not that far removed from the holidays. But let's just put it this way. I'm north of 210, 220. Okay? Just don't tell my wife. I've been lying to her and tell her I'm only 208. <laughs> These things are heavy duty. You can tell by the construction. Look at the access points that we have here. How reinforced that is. The stainless steel that's there. I mean, these give you so much more room, not only to move around, but you're maximizing the space that's inside. Here are my seats for my little bar table or for my hangout spot. I can easily see the TV. I can easily entertain and hang out and have as much fun as I want. I got my Thomas Paine recliners over here that's also the couch with the fold downs, heated and massaged. Check out what's behind my entertainment center. A little hideaway pantry. Don't you love it? And here's the thing, during the Ultimate RVSO National Tour, we will not have a chance to go through all the features inside these Fusion fifth wheels, but we have people standing by. So if you have questions or comments, just drop us a comment down below, fresh to 46642, or excuse me, drop a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642. Fireplace right here with multiple flame settings, barn style door heading into my pass through bathroom with walk around, or excuse me, with the single surround shower and the bench seat porcelain bowl with the foot flush king size bed in the master love it i got me some storage underneath and here in my closet i got you kev oh sorry there let me tell you it's tough trying to move around with these big old rigs like our guys <laughs> have to use but here in the master bedroom the king size bed nestled in its own slide look at the beautiful decor that i have on my wardrobe plus washer and dryer prep right there that door slides in to close got more storage space over there so if you're interested in this you say chris that keystone fusion beautiful unit starting at during the ultimate rv show starting at 92 995 as low as 18 dollars and 61 cents a day can easily sleep a 16,000 pounds dry 44 feet long I love it. I want it. How do I get it? Drop me a comment down below. RV or text RV to 46642. Now, Keystone Fusions have the True Fit slides. We got the heated and enclosed underbelly, the six point automatic leveling system, a Onan 5,500 watt generator in the front, automotive coated fiberglass end cap that's absolutely beautiful, but we will not be able to have all the time during the Ultimate RV Show to go through a lot of those features with you. That's why our specialists are standing by to help you right now. But at the end of the day, when you're talking about a back deck and a side party deck, hang on because I'm going to do this with a flourish. You ready? I'm king of the world, ma! King of the world! Or better yet, you are king of the campsite and king of the 
absolutely you are the king in this one, or the queen, of the tailgate. I got entertainment TV out here. I got marine grade Sony speakers because you have upgraded Sony entertainment system inside this thing. And you probably saw in the back where we had those solid Moride steps just kind of laying on the ground. You have gates on both the front and the back that you can access this beautiful Q F Fusion 424 from. Just like my buddy Jay says, it's almost like when you're coming home, you get to welcome folks on your front porch with the Keystone Fusion 424. You make so many good friends when you go to the RV campgrounds, you live the RV lifestyle. It really is the safest way to see a country. And with right now the prices that we have for the Ultimate RV Show, it's one of the most affordable ways. This one is the 424 Keystone Fusion. Starts at $92,995 or as low as $18.61 a day. Drop me a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. We got more fusions coming up as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. And by the way, if you say, Chris, you got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, how do I get in on one of those? Just drop me a comment down below, fresh or text fresh to 46642. I'll tell you what, you put Chris out in the elements and he's having a great time. He <laughs> loves the fusions. I told you about that. And you know what my favorite part about that particular unit was? The way they sneak that storage in That's behind true. the entertainment center like that. Yeah, I was eyeing everything about that because we have a toy hauler as well. Exactly. Love the side patio that that one has. Yeah, and we're getting ready awesome. to jump into uh, something that you know all about. Uh, we're going to jump into motor homes uh, over just under 30 feet or right around 30 feet. And my class A is going to be 30 feet. And we were talking about yeah. getting into parks because some parks won't let the bigger, longer ones in for some reason. Why is that? It's true. They don't have the space. Some of them don't. And like, especially when you get to places that take a while or you got to maneuver up in the mountains to get to, they don't have a lot of space to work with. 30 feet, though, is a money length. Like, we, with our 35-foot class A that we had, there was maybe two national parks we couldn't get into. 30 feet, just fine. Looking forward to that. Can't wait. We'll be jumping into that in a couple of weeks and hitting the highways and looking forward to seeing you out there as well. Almost 8 million strong so Woo! far on the national tours we continue. And now, let's take a look at one of my favorite vehicles of all time, the Thor Freedom Traveler. This is the A27. We're going to put Ian to work. When we talk about motorhomes, one of the fastest growing segments are motorhomes right around 30 foot, and for good reason. You know, not everyone wants to drive around a 45 foot bus, something a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to drive, but still enough room for several people. It's what a lot of people are looking for. And folks, this one right here has the capability to sleep six. This is the Thor Freedom Traveler A27. And I really like the floor plan because you do get the big slide here, which really helps open space up. Plus you get a slide out bed. So you kind of get the walk around bed in the back. Uh, let's take a look right over to the side, right? Because they do some things in the A27 that make a lot of sense to me. One of them right here is the TV placement. One of the big issues a lot of times in a class A it, when you're talking about, you know, again, smaller or not necessarily even a class A, right? Any motorhome that's 30 feet or, or less or right around there, maybe a little bit over, is you generally don't have a good viewing angle to the TV. But they did it here by putting it, you know, above the sink and right across from your sofa. So as you're sitting here, you can still watch TV, which is awesome, right? And, and I really like that. Um, you know, now, it, not necessarily you can watch it while you're going down the road. There are ways to do it, you know, if you're, uh, you know, running a generator and you have you know, satellite or something like that, or probably the better bet is to get a 12 volt TV in here and then have the, uh, the satellite system that is, you know, what they call an in motion satellite, which for the record, folks, if you ever need help on satellites, please, please, I highly recommend coming to a Camping World location. Uh, we have experts on hand that will walk you through exactly what you want because they are not all the same, right? And we'll make sure we get you the one that's set up that's perfect for you. And something like this where you need in motion is very important because if you get one that doesn't have that capability, you're just wasting money. Um, so, but with that, again, the TV straight across. I love it. Comfortable spot there for riders to sit. You also see the backsplash underneath, you know, nice and decorative. You have kind of the uh, upgraded countertop, right? Upgraded over T-mold. You don't have, you know, the T-mold popping out right here. And plus, you don't have to worry about water getting down in there, which I love. Double bowl stainless steel sink. You have the pull-out faucet, making it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. Taking a look right up top here, this is our main control panel. You will also see the control for the bed. Now, if you want to flip around for it, I want to show everyone this real quick. So a lot of people don't realize this, especially when they walk in, but this right here, I love because this is actually a bed. And so all you have to do is uh, touch the button right here. 
Oop, there we go. Just like that, you'll see the bed come on down. The neat thing about this is it has 500 pound weight capacity on here. So we're talking two adults can super easily and comfortably sleep up here. And you know, that's gonna be great for a couple different situations. Um, also as a side note, when you do bring this down, make sure you bring your seats back. You don't wanna have this come down on top of the seats because it will hit it. So just as a side note, but uh, I really like this for two reasons. One, if you have additional guests, it's an easy bed. You can already put the sheets and bedding and everything on here. So it's already made. All I have to do is throw up a couple pillows, you know, get the ladder, climb up, you're good to go. The other thing I like is if you're in a spot where you can't open up slides, as I mentioned, this one has a slide out bed. So if you can't open that up to get to the bed, you have another place to sleep. You can climb right up here, you're good to go. You know, you're secure. Again, you, do, you, you can't open up a slide, not a problem. You're good to go right here. I love this. And even if you don't think you will use this, the other thing I like about it is it might be perfect for someone else, right? So we're talking about resale down the road. Maybe someone wants the ability to easily sleep four in here. And again, you can sleep six because of the sofa and dinette, but that right there does make things uh, super easy. I'll lift it up real quick here just so we can kind of take a look underneath why we're up there. One of the things I do want to show you is on the uh, console, kind of on the left-hand side, you will see this one has a electric auto level. So you can touch a button right there and the coach will level itself out. And that can be a, a pretty big deal when we're talking about easy setup time. You know, just being able to park, touch a button, have it do everything else for you is wonderful. You don't have to, you know, back it up and forth, worry about blocks, anything like that. This one is on the new Ford, uh, rather, it's the Ford chassis with the new engine in there. So you get some more torque, a little bit more power, which is always great, especially if you plan on doing any kind of uh, hill climbing, you know, any kind of mountainous terrain, you'll definitely appreciate that extra torque. Nice big screen in the center dash, right? So it's easier to see. Another cool feature right over here, if you have someone, you know what, I'll sit up here and just kind of show you, is this pulls up and out and drops down. So uh, I like it because it's elevated and this is a perfect spot for a workstation. You have a computer, you have a tablet, you can sit right here. You know, as you're going down the road, if you want someone that works on the road, you have the ability to do that. You'll see a 12 volt plug there and there as well as 120. So if you are at your destination, you know, you can plug into the 120, but again, you have the 12 volt capability. I think that's cool. Dropping down a couple things I want to talk about here as well. You'll see that this is a um, like a composite, right? Like a, like a plastic composite. They didn't put carpet over, and I really like that because it's easier to clean. It's not going to scuff up nearly as easy. Plenty of cup holders in here, some mats for, you know, if you need to throw your wallet or whatever else down there so it doesn't slip and slide. A spot for a table because both of these seats do swivel around. That's one of the things that people love about Class A's is you really get to fully utilize that whole space. That cab's not wasted. You know, flip those seats around, you're good to go. At night, you can drop that bed down, you get sleeping space, this whole thing. You know, even though, again, it's right on that 30-foot mark, provides a ton of space because of the versatility and the ability to use all that space in it. Good storage underneath, three-burner cooktop of the oven, and additional storage underneath that oven, too. Of course, again, you have storage all the way across the top, microwave there, and Norcold fridge-freezer combo. Open that guy up so you can take a look inside there. You definitely want to make sure you have some cold storage, and uh, that is exactly what this provides. Coming in a little further, we'll open this up. This, of course, will be your wardrobe space, so you have plenty of space to hang your clothes. This is the table leg as well as that table we just talked about that goes right up front, and you will notice big drawers right there underneath. You have a privacy curtain here, so you can close this off. You will also notice you have a door, so you can close it off. Now, why would you have both? Well, pretty simple. If it's just the two of you, and you want full privacy, you close the door, right? Close it off, boom, good to go. Or maybe you do have guests and you want to do it anyway because they're going to use the facility at the campground. But if you have guests and they need to be able to access the bathroom, this closes it off. So that's where the curtain comes in because the curtain will go just around the bed here. Now, you can absolutely do both. If you want to do both, that's not a problem either. Uh, but that way, you know, again, guests can still make their way into the bathroom. And if you close the door, it may just... You know, if I was a guest and a door is closed, I'm not going to open it. Uh, if you come in a little bit further, again, so you have the slide out queen bed, windows on both sides that open, so you get that cross ventilation. You have reading light, storage up top, USB ports, um, you know, pretty standard stuff. But the thing, again, I like is because it is a slide out bed, it allows you to fully walk around. And if you want to watch TV at night, you'll see there's a TV right there at the foot of the bed. Right behind me is a window. Uh, this is an emergency exit. Hopefully, you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it's there. 
And then before we go in the bathroom, I just want to show you this big additional storage, which I absolutely love. So, uh, you know, this is a, a versatile space. If you need more space for clothes, you know, use it for clothes. If you want a linen closet, use it for a linen closet. You know, you, you, because you have the wardrobe, you may not need the extra space there. So you get a good linen closet there. You know, grab a towel, come into the bathroom, good to go here. Porcelain bowl, and I also like the fact it's elevated a little bit, right? It's uh, in, the, in the residential industry, we'd call it a high-rise toilet. You know, it's a little more, um, well, comes up a little bit higher, just like the name implies. It just makes it easier to get on and off the toilet. So, you know, if you're a little bit older or, you know, maybe you just had a really hard leg day and it's hard to get up off the toilet, having the higher toilet makes it a little easier. Coming into the shower here, whoops, I'll take a step in. Six foot tall, folks, you see I have plenty of room, especially with that skylight. Uh, it is a little far forward. I, I would have liked it just like an inch or two back, just because otherwise, you know, you kind of have to stand there to fully utilize the height. But even with even without, you know, you can still be six one, maybe six two, and not have to bend down in there, which is wonderful. Uh, this the sink in here is stainless steel too, just so you know, so it's easy to uh, easy to clean. Looks great. Now we take a quick look at this slide out before we head out. Storage all the way across the top. You want to talk about good additional storage? You can see that right there. You have speakers underneath, LED lights, couple of windows, of course, and cup holders, both behind the sofa and here in the dinette, because, you know, one of the big things about having a motorhome is the travel. And, you know, if you have a cup, you got a spot to put them so that we don't have to worry about anything spilling. Of course, naturally, you will have seat belts in both, so you can have legal riders. This is a dream-style dinette, so it's very simple and easy to drop down into a bed, just flip a lever, push that down, good to go and you will see some additional storage on both sides there. It's not super deep, but it is easy to get to. Now, if we take a look at the sofa, I'll just lift this up just to kind of show you underneath here. So you will also notice you have really good storage space underneath the jackknife sofa. That's space that oftentimes gets underutilized, but I always tell people, you know, one of the big knives, uh, big, big advantages of having that jackknife is getting that extra storage space. Make sure you utilize it. So we take a step outside here, a couple different things. So coming up front, of course, we have that big, beautiful windshield. You can see that right there, one piece. You know, if you've had a Class A in the past, maybe it's a little bit older, and you had like the, the H frame, right, where you have the big pillar coming down the center. Most manufacturers have completely eliminated that. Now, this is a automotive style bond as well, which is a big deal. So if you're looking for something, you want to make sure rain's not going to come in there. You know, it's uh, sealed very well. You can see the vents here in case it's cold, right? Making sure it's going to heat up the windshield. Your mirrors are where your um, side cameras are located. So that way, if you're putting on your blinker, you're able to check out those blind spots there. And as I mentioned, this one does have the newer Ford engine. Power awning with LED light, as you would expect. Outside TV, this I, you know, this is a great extra feature. Set up your chairs, boom, there you go. Everyone's watching TV, they're in a great mood. It is upfitted by Moride, which is um, a licensed upfitter. They do a great job. They do a lot of extra things for you, like computer balance your drive shaft to help take a lot of those vibrations out. And one of the other things you will see is you have larger I-beams in here. And what that does is it gives you this pass-through right up top. So if you have some longer items in there, like whether it's skis, pool noodles, whatever else you need, you can actually stick them in there. We'll open up this next one just because I want to show you again. So not only do you have that, your compartments will be lit and it's rotocast, so it cleans up very easily. Plus you'll see the drain right down below so you can drain all the water out frameless windows on here your slide out has a slide out topper so anything that falls whether it's sticks pine cones whatever when you push that slide in everything will just fall right off nice and easily see storage right back here rear mounted ladder painted bumper one of the big things i want to talk about is right underneath folks this one comes with a eight thousand pound hitch why is that a big deal because if you plan on towing a bigger tow vehicle behind you this one has the capability to do it. Folks, this is the 2021 Thor Freedom Traveler A27. Uh, total length on this one is 28 foot 5 inches. So again, under that 30 foot mark. If you're interested in this RV, text the word RV to 46642. Or if you're interested in any motorhome, folks, we have a ton coming straight from the factory. Factory fresh, just text the word fresh to 46642. All right, guys, welcome back to the stage. We're uh, going to be waiting just a second on Ian as he runs back in from that tour for us. Welcome, welcome, Ian. 
Hey everybody, all right. Hi, I'm Ian Baker. This is uh, my good friend Sean from Flippin' Tilby's and uh, today we're gonna talk to you about Good Sam ESP or the extended service plan. Uh, this kind of goes above and beyond the manufacturer warranty that it comes with. Now, Sean, I know you've had some, uh, some run-ins, a little bit of experience with some mechanical issues. I mean, tell me, how, how valuable is ESP? Yeah, I mean, when you're looking at some of the bigger, more costly repairs with RVs, they're, they're not covered by your warranty. They're not gonna be covered by your manufacturer warranty. So the ESP is gonna come in and take care of all those for you. And that's really, really big thing for, for not as, uh, it's gonna be a lot cheaper option than, than you're looking at if you were to pay for all those repairs yourself. Absolutely, that's, that's one of the things, right? So the extended service plan is a, it's a type of insurance. And you know, I, I always live by, I would rather have it and never need it than need it and not have it. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but a refrigerator to repair an RV is an over $2,000 expense. Chances are it's not gonna happen in the one year that's covered by the manufacturer warranty. Absolutely, yeah, we have, um, you know, as we've discussed before, we've gone through many trailers and even the new ones, you, you run into problems with them. Um, one of our last trailers that we worked on was a 2018 and we had a problem with the fridge. So we're still working yep. on that, figuring it out. And there's, there's just nothing you can really do. You just gotta take, take it and roll with the punches and know that sometimes you're gonna have stuff covered and sometimes you're not. Yeah, and, and that's, um, you know, when we, we talk about, you know, the, the coverage, right? That's obviously something we all want. We want that peace of mind. And when you go to sell the RV, the other great thing about the, the Good Sam Extended Service Plan is that that is transferable to a new buyer. So someone that is looking to buy an RV, knowing that they will have that peace of mind right out of the gate, can definitely help your chances of selling that RV. I think that's a huge thing, yeah. It's, uh, not everything is transferable these days. They, a lot of people want to offer stuff to the, the first buyer, the original buyer only, and mm -hmm. to have something that is transferable. Um, the other thing you know, that I really like is you don't have to worry about out-of-pocket expenses. They're going to pay yes. whatever location you want to take it to. You, you pick the location, you find somebody to fix it for you, and then could, they're going to pay directly to them. So you don't have to wait for any reimbursement. And, and I'm actually glad you bring that up, Sean, because you're absolutely right. Because that, that can be another thing. You know, not all of us are able to, you know, shell out two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 for that fix. So it's good to be able to have that coverage. You're not out the money anytime. And the other thing I really like about it is the fact that you get to choose where you want to take it. You know, if you're not in, you know, where you bought it from, you know, for a lot of times, right, you get an extended warranty from a, a dealership. You have to go back to that dealership to have it covered. With the extended service plan, the Good Sam uh, ESP plan, you can be in a completely different state and, and still be covered. Which is quite a practical thing to talk about. When you're in an RV, you're not going to stay put. You're not going to stay in the same location all the time. Right. The reason we have these RVs is so we can travel with them. So having that coverage anywhere we go, that's a really, really comforting thing. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So uh, if you want to learn more about the Good Sam ESP plan, just go to GoodSamESP.com. A similar layout to the A27 we just saw, but in a Class C chassis and a few feet longer. Coming in at 32 foot 3 inches is the 2021 Forest River Forester 3011DSF, uh, technically, because this one is on the Ford chassis. Now, uh, folks, this is a great floor plan. And as you'll see, as we go through, you'll see some similarities that we saw in the Freedom Traveler. So that just kind of goes to show you that whether it's a Class A or Class C, there are some similarities in floor plans, but we'll also see a lot of differences. And that's not just gonna be in the drivability and the storage, but also right here in the motor home itself. Now, let's start actually on the countertop. So what I wanna, what I wanna show you is part of that extra length is right here in the massive countertop we get all the way through. So if you want something with a lot of prep space, this certainly has it. You also see wireless charging is in here. So you can just drop your phone right there, you know, nice and convenient. You don't have to have a bunch of cords hanging out. I know if you're like me, I hate having extra cords. So I love things like that. You will also see easy access to your trash can. So a couple different ways to do this. So you lift this off, you can throw trash right in there. If you want, well, no, I guess you can on the inside. So I apologize. This one is only on the outside, but uh, we'll see when we go out there, there's a TV. So you pull the TV out and uh, there's a, that's where the trash can will be. It'll be right behind it. So you can just take it out and empty it out. But if you need to get to it from inside, this will be the place to do it. Now, as you did see though, there is storage down there. So you have space for spices, anything else that you want down there. And you will notice your drawers. So 
plenty of drawers here in the kitchen, as you saw, slow close drawers, right? So even though, you know, we're in a class C, this one is a little, you know, it's a nicer class C, right? It's, it's definitely gonna be a step up from your entry level class C, so you start to get nicer amenities like your slow close drawers, like your uh, improved or your upgraded countertop here. Because with this countertop, it allows us to undermount the sink. You know, very similar like you would do in a solid surface. You also have sink top covers which make flush or make your countertop flush here so you have that extra prep space. You get the high rise pull out faucet. You'll see three burner recessed cooktop with the glass cover. Underneath, in lieu of a standard oven, is your convection microwave oven. So that will be your microwave and your oven all in one. Um, you know, I know that some people like it, some people don't like it, but the thing I like about convection is that it uh, cooks quicker, right? It's easier to clean and it runs off electric. I don't have to use any propane to run that, which I personally enjoy. You will also see right there is your TV and that will be directly across from your sofa, a little bit higher than what we had in the, the Freedom Traveler, but it is still kind of a similar setup where they were able to mount that so it is directly across from your seating space. Storage all the way across the top here. You have like a little streamlined hood there, very slimline hood with a light. If we take a look up top, AC unit there, of course that will be ducted all the way through our LED lights. A couple vents in the ceiling too, we'll have one right there, another one in the very back, and then this one here in the kitchen is a max air fan to really help move the air. So if you don't wanna run the AC, open up some windows, fire that guy on, and you'll pull some serious air through here. Now as we take a look at the refrigerator, you'll see this one goes from propane, propane electric to the Magic Shelf, Magic Chef 12 volt. So we open that up, you can see that there, so this one will run off your batteries. Um, you know, it, 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 nice thing about this one is that it is condenser driven, so it does cool down a little bit quicker. But again, you, ha you have to have battery power. Now, um, you know, some people like it, some people don't. What I recommend with a, with a 12 volt is, you know, make sure you're running some solar, right? So that way you're helping to recharge that battery. Making our way back a little bit further, brand new, right? A little bit tougher to open. We'll open this up. I'll uh, pull that out just to kind of show you here. Big pantry space, a ton of storage in there. I absolutely love that. So for all your s'more fix-ins, you know, your oatmeal, breakfast cereals, whatever it may be, you have space for it. Now, another thing that's kind of make it or break it for a lot of people is this right here, and that is the bathroom. This is what we call a walk-through or a, a pass-through bathroom. Um, the reason that it's, again, kind of controversial is because for someone to, to enter the bathroom, right, uh, if someone's taking a shower, you just don't have a ton of privacy. The way you get privacy is by closing this door. Um, but, you know, again, then nobody can come back through here. So the reason people uh, kind of struggle with it sometimes is if you have guests and the guest is using the shower, you're locked out of your, your bedroom, right? You can't get to it. Now, uh, that's not always the case, you know, for a class C, there certainly are side aisle bathrooms, what they're called, where the whole bathroom is to one side. And if that's something you're interested in, what you'll want to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 and let our specialists help you. Because folks, this is just one of over 20,000 pieces we have on the lot. We have over 80,000 pieces that are on order and coming in. And I guarantee one of those will have a class C that you are going to want. Now, if you, let's say you're already looking at it. Let's say you're watching this, you just tuned in and you're like, hey, uh, you know, I, this is exactly what I was looking for. You know, I was just about to pull the trigger. I was just about to buy one. Folks, let me tell you something. We won't be beat. If you're out there shopping, you know, and maybe it's the Forester, maybe it's something else, we won't be beat on any deal. If you have a deal going and you think that, you know, maybe there's a little more room there, maybe we can get you a better deal, chances are we can. All you have to do is text the word BEAT, B-E-A-T, to 46642. And here's the cool thing. If we can't beat the deal, not only will you know that you got a great deal, but we'll even give you $1,000. So, it's definitely a win-win situation for you. You can't lose in that. We want to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. And if we can't do it, you're going to be $1,000 richer. Come into the back bedroom. And as again, kind of like we had in the A27, you have a slide out here. That lets you get that walk around bed. You know, a smaller windows on both sides, but they are still there. And then right here in the back is the big window. MCD roller shades, by the way, too. Nice high-end shades in here. TV in the center, storage all around. I'll open this up for you so you can see you have wardrobe on both sides. And I like this too, right? Uh, rather than having a bar, the reason I like this is when you put a hanger in there, it stays. You know, when you're traveling down the road, uh, a lot of times if you have, you know, a bar, things will bounce. They'll, you know, they'll start to move. They'll fall off. 
with that, you have a much better chance of everything staying right where you put it. As we head back out here, and, and just so you know, um, yeah, watch that step. Uh, just so you know, right in here, folks, is your, your toilet and then your sink. A little bit of storage will be in there as well, plus a, a vent fan for obvious reasons. Uh, another difference we talk about, right, when we're talking class A to class C, a lot of times you'll have steps in a class C, right? You see I step down here, I also step down into the cab. Most of the times in class A's, it will eliminate that step. Um, right over here in the off camp side is the majority of our seating. Big U dinette that does drop down into a bed. You can see a cushion underneath there uh, to help with your uh, sleeping. And then when we pull this out, again, kind of same thing, but this one is a much larger sleeping or much larger storage space in there. Three seat belts. You have one on each side plus one in the back. Cup holders in the corner. Um, you know they they should work fairly well. I, I wouldn't trust it if you don't have a, <laughs> a lid on it, but uh, you do have the cup holders right there. Storage all across the top, and this is a big deal, right? When I open this up, hidden hinges, right? Excellent high quality construction hinges that they've used in here. Um, I personally really like that, and again, because it's easy one hand operation, it's a little bit higher, that does make it simple to access anything in there. And this whole thing runs through, same on the other side, so big storage all throughout. And then here is the sofa, uh, kind of something that's cool about this, it has a drop down uh, armrest slash cup holder, so you can quickly turn this into theater seat. So if it's just two of you, you want to drop down, sit back and relax, you know, you can watch TV or maybe, you know, you just have the door open, you want to watch what's going on out at the campsite, you know, you can do that too, just wave. Otherwise, you know, you're hanging out here nice and comfy. Up front, Ford chassis, uh, again, this one also has the, the newer Ford engine, so, you know, a little more torque there, which if you're not familiar, torque will help you not only tow things, but you know also help you uh, get up to speed quicker. And if you're in any kind of mountainous terrain, will uh, help you climb hills too. Up top is your other sleeping space. So this one is fixed, right? That's the, kind of one of the big things that uh, designate the fact it's a Class C, is that you have uh, the, ca or the, the bed space right here over the cab, right? You have that nose that sticks out over the cab. And this is a permanent bed. You drop this down, you have that bed there storage space up front, some cup holders, and kind of like we talked about in the, the Freedom Traveler, you know, if you're at a campsite or somewhere, wherever you may be, and you can't push, push the slides out, you can climb up there and be able to rest there for the night. Uh, as we make our way outside, a um, couple of quick things I do want to point on. One right there, uh, as soon as we walk in, is auto level control. That's a big deal on a Class C. A lot of times we don't get that. So you touch a button right here, you have auto level, and then your solar controller will be there as well. So, uh, you know, that's again, a great feature. It's not only, you know, you want solar because of that 12 volt fridge, the auto level folks, touch a button, it does everything else for you. Oh my gosh, it just makes it so easy, so great. I'm telling you, you will love having it. Now this particular model does have full body paint. That is an option. Full body paint, I'm, uh, you know, to be quite honest, is not a cheap option. If it's something you're looking at, it, it, it is a little bit more expensive. But if you're looking you know, to keep it for the long haul, I highly recommend full body paint. Not only is it gorgeous, but it will, it will keep it looking gorgeous. You will get that shine, that luster, that beauty for years and years to come. You don't have to worry about decals peeling off or anything like that. You will also see the front cap on the cab over. Right? It's another sign that we're in a higher end class C. Uh, and what the, the advantage of the front cap is it wraps around. Not only does this give you more insulation because, you know, there's a little air barrier in there, but more importantly, because it wraps around to the side, those driving, that driving rain as you're going down the road isn't getting into the seams. And so you know that that's gonna be nice and dry for you. You'll see up, uh, actually, you know what, we'll get to that in a second. Let's go right here first. I wanna talk about the TV, right? So you have a TV, so it's nice and easy to watch. Um, storage down below, a couple of quick things. One talk about drivability this one has Helwig sway control so that way as you're driving down the road you won't get as much sway and also if we drop this down I'll show you right here you have the ride right air helper springs those are adjustable making sure that you're gonna have excellent load equalization up top is that power awning with LED lights on there but the last part I want to talk about when we talk about driving is this right here also has your Bilstein shocks and that's going to take out all those bumps and everything when you're going down the road so it's nice and smooth. So that way you don't have to worry about your dishes and everything, you know, rattling around or falling out of cabinets, breaking. When you get to your destination, everything should be exactly where you put it. More storage in the back, including take a look at this big storage space. Nice big storage for some of your larger items. Plus, as a 7,500-pound hitchback here with your seven-way, 
rear ladder to climb up onto the fiberglass roof. You have the slide out topper on there, folks. This thing is ready to rock and roll. Beautiful Class C. This one is starting at $109.95 or $22 a day. Now, folks, if that's a little high for you, that's okay. We have other Class Cs that'll fit your budget. All you have to do is text the word RV to 46642, and our specialists will make sure you get the perfect RV for you, your family, and whoever else, so you can enjoy this beautiful country the safest way possible. RVing is the best method of travel. It's easy, safe, fun, and affordable. Did you know you can get an RV that can be towed by your car or SUV and sleeps five for less than $5 a day? That's less than a foot-long sub or a fancy cup of coffee. See America for less. With over 35,000 RVs to choose from, we have an RV for every lifestyle and budget. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Every chef knows that travel and food go hand in hand. If you want to try new recipes, find the best restaurants, and discover amazing cuisines, then make Camping World the first stop on your culinary adventure. If you can make it in a kitchen, on a grill, or over a fire, then you can make it anywhere with your RV. Take your kitchen on the road with Camping World. I'll tell you what, fellas, I don't know who's working harder today. We are all running around and doing <laughs> wonderful things. And, Sean, it was great to see you talking about the power sports. You know so much about those. And as a matter of fact, don't go anywhere. We're going to give away one of our 49cc Coleman scooters here in just a moment. And we're going to continue the giveaways throughout the weekend. As a matter of fact, and at the end of day three, this is day two, we're going to give away an RV. Yep. It's that simple, right, Bryce? Yeah. Yep, one of you's going to have it. So future adventures coming your way with that and all the other stuff we're giving away. But yeah. I'm stoked for the RV giveaway. And you know what's coming up next? And uh, Sean, and I, it's weird saying Sean because my name is <laughs> so bizarre. Great name. But, I'm outnumbered. Uh, we're going to go into our partner pick and wait until you see this amazing unit that we uh, that we had our, our uh, RV influencers pick out. This is a great group who is all about fitness on the road and doing stuff and making sure that, uh, you know, your family eats healthy. Bryce, we're juicing all day yep. uh, with Nelly, your wife, uh, juicing for everybody. And that's what it's all about. But what do you say we give away this scooter right now and we have a winner? We do. Once again, if you guys want to get entered to win these, you need to text URVS to 46642. So we are get giving away... It. A 49cc scooter. The winner is Kim Looney. What? Woo! Kim Looney? Are you yes. kidding me? Come on. I want one of these scooters so bad. I, I mean, you guys were talking about the, the buggies earlier with the kids and, and how much fun they are. But these scooters are it's so right convenient here. for everybody. All right. Let's jump in. We've got uh, Ian and I talking to an amazing couple that's going to get you dialed in. If you, can't think you can, uh, if you think you can't eat good on the road... You might be mistaken. Bryson's uh, beautiful wife, Nellie from the Jurgies, know all about that. And Ian and I are going to get you healthy on the road. Let's do it. Did you know you can own an RV for as little as $98 a month? Let's see which one suits your family and budget. Travel trailers are by far the most popular. They come in a wide variety of sizes and can sleep up to 10 people. You can take your family of four camping for as low as $98 a month. Need more room? Some travel trailers can sleep six to eight people for only $114 a month. Next up is the fifth wheel. Smaller fifth wheels will sleep four to six and start at $186 per month. And some of the bigger ones sleep eight or more for just $194 a month. If you want to drive your RV, we have motorhomes that fit every lifestyle and budget. The most popular is the Class C. Class C sleep five to nine and start at only $322 a month. The biggest motorhomes, the Class A's, they can sleep up to 10 and come in at $456 a month. For even more info and to browse over 30,000 RVs, check out rv.campingworld.com. Sean Parr, Ian Baker, and of course, our amazing influencers who we love to talk to and uh, find a little bit more about what happens on the road. But when you're talking health and fitness, there's only two people you need to talk to, and that is Steph and James of the Fit RV. <laughs> First of all, how are you guys? We're hey, doing great. Welcome, and from Southern Utah. 
Perfect. Yeah, well, it's not far away at all. We're just uh, a little ways north, hanging out in Salt Lake. Beautiful. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Mountains Good. everywhere I look. I love yep, it. That's Salt. our old stomping grounds. So love, we used to live not too far from there. I love the fact that we get a chance to talk to you guys because when you're out on the road, and there's so many uh, families that are doing this full time mm -hmm. and couples that have decided, you know what, we're going to go ahead and, and just kind of put everything aside, sell it all, and let's hit the road and see this great nation of ours. And staying healthy and staying fit on the road is so important, especially yes. today when we're finding out all these things about our bodies and about our environment. You guys make it a lot easier to stay healthy. And I want to start with one of my favorite things in the world. I mean, you make it so simple to do popcorn healthy. Steph, you guys <laughs> put the seasoning on there. You make me hungry every time I watch a video of yours or follow you along on something. You're doing a recipe on some wonderful thing. But let's talk popcorn. Oh, popcorn is so easy to do in the RV. It's one of our favorite things to use our microwave for a quarter cup. In, in a container in the microwave, and you've got your own microwave. Popcorn without, popcorn. It, without any, or you know, you get that stuff in a bag, it could have who knows what on it. It could have motor oil in it, you wouldn't know. <laughs> that <laughs> mystery goo in the yes. store-bought microwave Getting your popcorn bags. lung. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, um, but when you do it yourself, you know exactly what you're getting. And what you're getting is not a whole lot of unhealthy calories, and you're getting a snack that's that you can feel good about, so. We're all in. I love it. And that's, you know, we talk about uh, diet and obviously anytime staying fit, diet is a huge, huge portion of that. But what I'm really curious about, because I like to work out, I like to stay active. And, you know, I, I'm talking to the Jurgies and they have a big fifth wheel and they have plenty of space in the garage and everything else to do it. But with having a class B, uh, I'm curious, what kind of activities are you guys doing? Are you getting out a lot? Do you have, you know, weights inside? Like, what, what are you guys doing just to help with that active lifestyle? Well, there's a lot. Um, it, it starts with our trip planning. So we don't start a trip by saying, well, where do you want to go? We start a trip by saying, what do we want to do? Okay. And by planning, well, like a trip, yeah. Yeah, yeah. by planning a trip in that way, you're guaranteed that there will be at least some aspect of the trip where you're getting some activity. It's, yeah. it's bound Keep, to be active. Keeping it active focus. And we're big cyclists, so a lot of our trips, most of our trips have to do with where do we want to go biking next? Or what area do we want to explore on our bikes? So we start there planning the trip around our activities instead of the destination. So we've always got that. But, I mean, if you're thinking of just traditional fitness stuff, yeah. we, we bring along, we don't exercise in the Class B. It's, it's too small. I mean, we can in a pinch, but right. we like to exercise outside. So we bring resistance bands. Yep, and a yoga mat, a jump rope, things you can do right at the campsite, things that pack real easily, That's a TRX. Yeah. But really, you know, as long as you have your own body, you can get a great workout. You don't need any equipment. Exercise is as simple as putting on some shoes and just going and taking a power walk around the campground. I love that part, too, because that makes it so simple. It's like you were saying, Ian, you know, you, you would love to have the weight bench and the weights and the free weights and do all that stuff and really get oh, into yeah. it. But you don't have the room for it in a Class B. You have the bands that are so good. My wife is totally yeah. into the resistance oh, bands good. that do so much for different parts of your body. How did you guys get started, though, and decide to take this amazing fitness regimen on the road? Uh, so we, we, it's kind of how we started RVing all together. Um, as Steph mentioned, we're cyclists. And so our first RV purchase, we got it specifically to go to cycling events. It was all about the bathroom. <laughs> we, we didn't want to have to stand. You know, if you've ever been to a mass start event, there's like lines of porta potties with hundreds of other cyclists with nervous bladders and bowels in line at the porta potty. You don't want to do that. So we got an RV first as a rolling bathroom. Okay. And then we realized it, it opened up so many more opportunities for us. But Right. So that's kind of how we got into it. And I'm a personal trainer, too. And at the time, I was looking for ways to inspire my trainees. And so that's kind of how we started the Fit RV website. It was, you know, staying fit, staying fit on the road. And then it kind of built into also keeping your RV fit. And that's the side James maintains of our website is RV maintenance tips and stuff, stuff like, like that. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And so, Steph, if, if someone was trying to, like, I assume you put on classes, if someone was trying to follow and uh, kind of get into that, right, if, if they love the lifestyle, they love the idea, how would they go about doing that? 
to get into fitness on the road? Is, or, is or to, like, do you do personalized workouts, things like that as a personal trainer for people? Oh, yeah. And so on our YouTube, I've got a lot of workout videos for people uh, getting started. And same on the FitRV website, a lot of tips for exercising at the campground. So that's kind of what I do is just put out a lot of information, give resources, things to inspire people to to get going on working out on the road. Yeah, and any personal training that you do anymore is all completely virtual, right? Yep. We're, we're, okay. We don't stay put long enough to really build up a clientele. That right. Way. Sure. Yeah. yeah. One Excellent. of the things I noticed too, Ian, is if you look at the, the Winnebago class B, for instance, that we're going to be taking out here, uh, taking a look at here in just a little bit. But when you look at a Winnebago class B or a lot of the class B's, you'll see that they all come with the bike racks on the back. And there's so much, you don't realize how much room there is. And then you can actually just keep your stuff that you really need on the outside. Absolutely. And kayaks on top, there can be racks up top. And so it's a great way to just transport your gear and your toys. Um, you know, good weekend adventure kind of stuff. Yeah, we, We've actually, we've actually, so we have bike racks. Sometimes we'll bring a lot of, a lot of trips actually, we'll bring four bikes along. Yeah. Wow. Two Classic. inside and two on the outside. Or two in the, tra- you know, we'll have a small trailer we bring sometimes if it's like a really intense kind of trip, we'll, we'll tow just like a little four by six trailer. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of storage even in, inside for your regular stuff. I mean, it's not just the bikes. You've got probably a helmet, you've got cycling shoes yeah. and there's room sure. for all that stuff in, in the class B van. You just got to, you got to pack smart. I, I love that you guys are, you know, it's, it's funny with the 2020 in the year it was, we saw Peloton take off. And you guys, you, know, you guys are doing what it's actually all about, right? Is actually getting out there and cycling. And uh, I absolutely love it. And I, I have to ask you, say you bring four bikes. Is it road bikes and off-road bikes? Is that the reason for four? Yeah. Usually, yeah. We'll have two road bikes. And, and that's primarily, I, used, I don't do it anymore, but I used to race, like road racing okay. um, on bikes. And so two road bikes, two mountain bikes. Do you, do you have a preference, one or the other? Or do you like them both for different reasons or... I'm more of a roadie, to be completely honest. I like <laughs> sure. I like just just Me putting too. my head down, and going 50 miles. Although I did just get a gravel bike because gravel is the trend these days. So I'm excited for this upcoming season to find some gravel roads and well, see what I can do on that new bike. Going off of the season stuff that you brought up, I mean, when you when you start talking about seasons, you're in Utah right now. It's cold. It's a lot of snow. Uh, you're in St. George area where it's not necessarily that cold or that snowy. Right. But uh, when you go seasonally, uh, seasonally and you get out there, where are you looking to, to hit? Give us some idea because I know when I think about cycling out there, off the road, I think mountains, I think, you know, yeah. big trails where you got to go up and then you got to go steep inclines. Give us some idea yeah. where you guys actually go. Wow. Um, so let's see. So you talk mountains. So one of our, one of our favorite places to go to ride, well, there's road, I'll give you road and a mountain and they're both kind of in North Dakota and it's Theodore Roosevelt National Park yeah. in North Dakota one. is one of our favorite places to go riding because it's a park less traveled. And so there's not so many people there. You can feel safe out on the road in the park. And there's a, there's a loop road there. And on multiple occasions, we have ridden along with buffalo. Wild wow. horses, prairie dog villages. It's just such an epic, incredible cool. ride. And it's also a challenging ride. There's some grades up to 12% climbs on your bike. Wow. But it's a great way to experience your national parks is to pull out your bike and just hit the road where others are in cars. Yeah, you know, we've all done that thing where you go through a park and you like pull up to the next look at it, everybody looks out the window, right? But it's a whole different experience when you're doing it on a bike. You're yeah. sort of immersed in it. The horses are there. You, you shouldn't touch them, but you feel like you could. <laughs> so, like, no. there's, <laughs> and then on the on the other end of the well, on the, the western end, um, there's the the Mata Hay Trail. I don't know yeah. if you're familiar with that one. It's also in North Dakota. It is a mountain biking trail, but not so much steep inclines and drop offs, and and it's it's more approachable. But it's really long and like hundreds of miles. So it's you can go out and back anywhere on the trail, and it's very famous. And so we've done part of that on our bikes too. And there's some great camping along it. So yeah, that's a fun destination yeah. of ours. So. so we've done that. We've, we've done, you know, Great Basin, although we didn't really do any riding in Great Basin. 
bikes. Yeah, but it's more about hiking. We take our bikes anywhere we go. And that's the great thing about the RV is it enables us. If you want to go on a cycling adventure and you don't have an RV, it's kind of an event. You've got to plan for it. Sure. You've got to think, all right, I got to find a hotel where I can get my bikes into the hotel at night. I got to get my bike there, which means I got to drive. I can't fly. And it, it, it's a thing. Whereas in an RV, it's like, oh, hey, I'm at the trailhead. You have Great. everything right there at the trailhead. You can take a shower right at the trailhead. Have your lunch right at the trailhead. It's just such a wonderful way to be a cyclist or a hiker, having something like a camper van to be your catalyst for you to do these kinds of adventures. Sure, and it goes back to using the restroom right there at the trailhead too. We don't have to worry about <laughs> yes. walking into, you know, some freestanding area where, you know, who knows who's been in there, you know, you've got your own yep. privacy. Exactly, exactly. Um, going back to nutrition real quick, I just have a, a quick question. One of the things I love about Class Bs is the versatility and the ability to drive, you know, pretty much anywhere. Um, in an effort in nutrition, do you guys find you make a lot of trips to the grocery store? And how do you feel about, you know, driving the Class B to the store? Is it pretty easy for you? Do you have any challenges there? Or I guess just what's your overall experience with it? Yeah, we do a lot of planning of our meals ahead. So if we have a trip that's going to be a week, we try to plan out all our meals so we won't so, so we'll keep our healthy eating habits on the vacation. So a lot of that is shopping ahead for us for our shorter trips. Especially this year. It's been this a lot year, of, yeah. uh, really a lot of planning so we don't have to hit as many stores on the road. Yeah, otherwise we would only plan about three days worth of groceries so everything would be okay. really fresh in a normal year. But this year we were, we were stocking up so we didn't have to go in anywhere on our trips. But in general, I think it's very easy to take the RV to it. We don't have any, especially class B, you don't have any you trouble parking anywhere. it. You can pull it into a regular parking space. You come out, you just put the groceries directly into your fridge or you know wherever. It's it's so super easy that way. And we used to like to find farmer's markets or seafood stands, depending where we were, and try to get local fresh food. So that was always a that. fun adventure on our trips too, is where can we go find some cool local stuff to eat and make make on the road too. Yeah, what a great idea, too, because when you're out there and you're eating that fresh, that's part of that living fresh, eating fresh, yeah. feeling fresh. Now, when I think about what we're doing on this national tour, we have been across the country from uh, North Carolina to Houston to uh, uh, where were we last week in uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. And here we are in, in, in Utah. And when I think about all of the places that we've been and, and all of the amazing people that have discovered RVing for the first time and maybe looking at a class B and thinking about getting out of there, what would you say to the first time people that just purchased that vehicle and that want to get started, but also want to stay on their path to health, if you will? Ooh, well, there, there are a few key things that we, we tell people about just staying fit on the road in general. Um, I guess the first of them would be don't take a vac don't get the vacation mindset going, right? A lot of times people think, woohoo, I'm on vacation. You know, I can eat what I want or whatever, right? But <laughs> nobody would think, I'm on vacation. I'm not going to take my my blood pressure medicine or something. <laughs> nobody would do that, right? Right. And we think that healthy eating and exercise is just as important to your health as a medication that you would take. And so we recommend people don't fall into that. I mean, yes, right. you can have fun. It's vacation, right? But but don't just... But eating can be fun. You know, if you're stopping at these local farm stands and making your meals part of the adventure, it doesn't have to be a wet blanket. I have to eat healthy. You know, it, it can be a great thing. So Yeah, thanks, just, Steph. Appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> Got to eat healthy. There goes my <laughs> RV experience. <laughs> Well, and the other thing I always tell people is to try to make a plan for your exercise too. And, and since everything is always changing on the road, I always recommend take, picking a day a week. So maybe every Sunday you write down what you're going to do throughout the week for your exercise. And maybe that's going to be, oh, the weather's great on Wednesday. Let's take a bike ride on Wednesday. Or we're going to be near that awesome hiking trail on Friday. We'll hike on Friday. And let's do some yoga at the campsite on Monday. So if you write it down, you're getting it out of your brain and you're more likely to stick to it. And if you're only doing it for one week, it's just a week of goals. You know, it, anybody can meet yeah, their goals for sure. one week. It's not an overwhelming commitment to just yeah, plan to do these five things a in a week. So that's my other advice I always give to newbies is 
try to schedule activity, exercise, and just don't take a vacation from your healthy living and your healthy choices. Yeah, excellent. Um, James, a little bit earlier, you kind of talked about with the cycling, right? You said you have a lot of cycling gear, a lot of stuff that you guys bring with you. Um, how do you find space? Like, what kind of storage solutions do you have in the Class B? Where are you packing things? Are there areas that are better than others? Do you have any any uh, tips, any hacks, anything that can help people out? Uh, one one of the big tips I've got is is with the cycling equipment. A lot of it I have, you know, you, we all know what a bike pump is, right? And and you know, it's it's a kind of thing. I've gone and found a smaller bike pump that I can bring and that makes things easier. And okay. I do a lot of my own work on my bikes, but I've got a much smaller pared down tool kit that I'll bring on the road. So that's one of the tips is to try to find ways to minimize the gear that you're taking. Um, as far as helmets, you keep your helmets inside. Don't, don't put your helmets outside somewhere because you know, the UV you, that your helmet is something you want to keep in good shape, yeah. obviously. Sure. Um, and your cycling clothing, you're going to want that inside. Although we have been known on occasion when we come back from riding, let's say like 80 miles on a hot summer day, we've been known to hang our dirty clothes outside <laughs> in the trailer <laughs> just, just to keep that out of the RV. Yes. Um, I think the key is just to find a place in your van. If you have a camper van, space is precious. So you think ahead of spots for where you're going to put your cycling gear. And we have a place in ours where we put our water bottles under a cabinet. We actually built some nets uh, yeah. under a cabinet so we can slide our water bottles in there just so they're not taking up space inside a cabinet. And it. yeah. so it's always just thinking ahead about where everything, everything should have its own home. Yeah. And that's, that's really, key. the smaller the rig, the more important that becomes because in a, in a big old class A, you can leave a couple things on the counter and, and it's fine, whatever. Right. But in a class B, if you leave a couple things on the counter, that's like 80% of your counter space is now used <laughs> up, right? You, your, your threshold for something being an out of control mess is a lot lower when you're in a smaller and smaller space. So you just got to keep on top of it. Yeah, and you get creative because, Ian, as you've described in many of the vehicles that we've seen over the last several weeks, and, and, and you've done this for so long, uh, in being innovative with storage because storage is so precious, mm -hmm. whether yes. you're in a, a Class C, a Class A, or like you said, in a Class B. And I love, uh, Steph, what you said, to, to use that space. We, we made our own little netting and, and created that space for the water bottles and, and calling it what it is and putting our, right. this is where the, the helmets go and this is where this goes. So you know, and you create that routine of, Right. Now you have your style and you go, whether we're going on a biking experience or a hiking experience. And I, and I want to touch on this be, because I don't want to let this get too far away. One of the craziest phrases we always hear is, I'm on vacation, I don't have to eat well. Oh, but I'm on vacation. That is the worst mindset I think you could really set yourself in. Mm -hmm. And I think if you want to get into the right place, you need to follow you two because you put some recipes together that are yeah. spot on for being on vacation or whether you're doing this full time. Right. Right. And we have some of our favorite recipes that we love to make in the RV, like your muesli. I just oh, love that. Yeah. Such a treat to Th have. That's one that we have. I don't think we've even put that one up yet, have we? That, that's coming. Okay. That's coming. Oh. So, we, so I've got, so we've got a, a breakfast recipe that we'll be, we'll be sharing at some point, but it's something that, that I found and started doing for cycling events. Yeah. And it was from a cycling cookbook. We got the recipe oh, nice. and it's so yeah. good. It's, and it's a, it's a cold breakfast and you make it the night before but it's it's full of oats and you know fresh Apples, fruit you can put in it yogurt. and it's mm. got complex carbs that will basically if you're going on a 80 mile ride the next day or a long hike for the day you're, you're, you're gonna, gonna want to be fueled up yeah it's good fuel for a kind of an active day and it's such a treat it's all these simple ingredients but something about it is just so tasty and i just crave it it's like a and we save that here. as a treat for when we're in the rv <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the sneak preview of the power breakfast brought to you by <laughs> <laughs> wow, we can't wait to see this video when it comes out very soon, you said. I, I guess we'll have to do I, that. I, I, I guess so now. <laughs> yes, it's been put out there. Too late to pull it back now. No pressure. <laughs> um, qu question for you guys, when you talk about food, uh, do, do you, 
believe in, um, I guess, any kind of fad diets, or are you more of, you know, like you said, just kind of watching what you're putting into your body between complex carbs, being balanced, kind of everything in moderation. Uh, yeah. What's your take on, on eating healthy, if you will, because you see so many different things from, you know, what is clean eating? What is eating healthy? Right. Uh, what, is, what is your take on that? Yeah, I think we're of the mindset that you don't have to be so strict with yourself. You also got to balance. You got to live life too. So you want to eat mostly healthy and you want to eat mostly plants. And, but I think the trick is to just keep your portions under control. Portions under yeah. control. That is the key. That's my problem. I'm not, I'm not big on <laughs> any of the fad diets. You know, they, they there's no one size fits all. Yep. When it comes to nutrition, we're all so very different. So we have to be careful with um, the fad diets. But if you just try your best to eat mostly healthy and make sure you're getting your exercise, that's really the key to yeah. staying healthy. If you'll, any kind of diet where you're really strict and you don't allow yourself to have the things that you really love at least once in a while, yeah. it's probably going to fail. And so it's, it's, Long term, it's better to just take a balanced approach and try to eat mostly good. But, you know, I really love X. And so I'm going to let myself have that once a month. Yeah. Or whatever. yeah. Ian, and I'm really glad you brought that up because one of the things when you start talking, Steph and, and James, about going to farmer's markets and uh, all of these wonderful places in the communities that you are, I think juicing and getting the vegetables. What about that? As far as, you know, having that mixer and having shakes for breakfast or a power shake with some fruit, sure. I immediately start thinking about things like that because my wife and I, we like to juice and we like to do shakes yeah. to supplement a meal with, you know, that has some good uh, vitamins and minerals in it. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. I, I have a juicer too. Ours is too big. I don't take it with us in the RV, but we do take a small blender. And so we do love to do smoothies, green smoothies when we're on the road too. And so I think that's fantastic. That, that I'm Yeah, that's that's been like key that. for us to, to enable that. We've had to find smaller versions right, of, of everything. blenders yeah. and, and Even our food processor. Our, the, yeah. the food pro we have this tiny little food processor so we can make our own protein bars and stuff Ooh, cool. on the road too. So everything in the van is just smaller is for appliances. I don't have a small juicer though, but that'd be cool. Well, there's a hand, you can, you can yeah, hand yeah. juicer. Yeah, nah, that's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> not, no. not at all the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely getting the vibe of, you know, everything, just try to get a little bit smaller, right? Pack everything yeah. a little bit tighter, find things a little smaller. Um, yeah. I absolutely love that. Uh, I do want to take a step back. I, I have a, one more question on cycling, something that, you know, just always I, I wonder. You guys are going to all these different places, going through all these different trails. Are, are you, is there a resource you're looking up to see, you know, the length of the trail, where it's going, you know, before you decide to get out there? Or are you just kind of getting out there, hitting the trail and ending up where you end up, you know, bringing first aid kits and backpacks and everything else with you? Like, what is your approach to that? Uh, a little bit different for road and mountain rides. For mountain rides, I think MTB Project is one that, uh -huh. that I use a lot to help me find trails and then to know how long it is, how difficult it is. Yeah, that's a really of... handy app. Um, Road riding is, you know, a lot of, there are a lot of different apps I use. There's like Garmin and Strava heat maps that you can use to see where the locals ride. Yeah. And then you can try to plan a route based on those. There, there are other sites like Map My Ride where you can search for routes that other people have done. It's tricky though. And you can also call local bike shops. We have Ooh, a Facebook point. group called Cyclists Who RV. And okay. um, those cyclists are RVers and they're putting up their rides all over. So we've actually found rides that way through yeah. other RVing cyclists just from trips they've shared on that Facebook group. Even had a meetup with them last, uh, yeah. last, oh, cool. last yeah. spring. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Before the pandemic, we had a, we had a meetup with yeah. them. Nice. Now we see a lot of people that are cycling indoors and they cycle with those, you know, apps that kind of take you along those trails rather than yeah. being out there. Compare the difference, uh, James, if you will, to riding something like that in your basement. Touching horses. Or, yeah, or touching <laughs> horses out there, like you said. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's different. Um, you're, you still realize you're in your basement. Um, and we do both. We do both. One is just way more fun, and that's being outside 
touching horses. <laughs> yeah. The uh, you don't get to coast right in your basement. If you if you try to coast on one of those, you just stop, and that's not how it works in in real life. You can coast and keep Screen going. Screen goes dark. You're like, okay, that was fun. The next ride is coming up in ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think a new country song is we just come up with a country song title, Touching Horses. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, I like it. There we go. All I right. would listen to that song. <laughs> well, it's all she about did not like Touching Buffalo. <laughs> touching Buffalo would not be a song for Steph. We've seen yeah. those videos of what not to do. <laughs> give us a couple of more. And, and you really, thank you for touching on North Dakota. Uh, give us a couple of more spots, like maybe uh, towards the Wyoming area and maybe Jackson Hole in that area. If you've been out there, there. Give us some ideas of where we can visit. Well, Idaho, we just did Northern Idaho. Ooh, that was beautiful. a recent one. There was some excellent bicycling up there. Oh, it was like 80 remember. miles of, of... Coeur d'Alene has yeah. that area. North of Coeur d'Alene, we found a wonderful campground. The ride of the Hiawatha we did well, I was there. thinking about that loop around the lake, but I can't remember the name. Uh, it, was, it was one of the lake campgrounds. I don't remember the name. But. Just We just had such a wonderful time in Northern Idaho. Um, yeah, and so the trail would... of the Hiawatha is cool. Bring a gravel bike, though, um, yes. because it's, it's a gravel ride, but you're riding on an old abandoned railroad track, but you Beautiful. go over these giant trestle bridges, you oh, know, wow. where it's like hundreds of feet off the ground. It's And then there's the Coeur d'Alene Trail, which is a paved route for cyclists. Beginners would love that one in the area. Yeah. And it's just so pretty up there. Awesome. So yeah. That... Logan, not too far north of where you guys are right now, Ooh. is another great place to go riding. Utah, yes. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that what, uh, some of those trips, what inspired you to get the gravel bike? Yeah, it was. And also that Cyclist Who RV group, everybody's riding gravel right now. And so I had FOMO, fear of missing out. So. <laughs> we all get it. We all get, get it. it. <laughs> yeah, I've done I, of- I haven't I haven't dropped the dropped the dime on the gravel bike yet. Yeah. It's, huh? It may it may happen at some point. You'll get FOMO next. For yeah. sure. You'll get out After there and watching tell them, me. Yeah, exactly. You'll tell them how much fun it is. And honey, you have to do this. I love <laughs> it. Right. James, you and I are gonna have to get out and do some road biking. I've done a lot of that myself. And I tell you, there's awesome. Nothing like being in the great outdoors on your road bike, but I love, Steph, the, pa- the pictures that you've painted of being on the trail bike. Now, coming up, we're going to take a look at a Class B as we continue with Steph and, of course, James. These are the Fit RV. We're talking about health and, health and fitness. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. Sean Parr, Ian Baker, and of course, from the Fit RV, uh, we've got James and Steph with us once again. Now we're going to talk about this amazing Class B, and we've talked health and fitness, we've talked biking, but let's get into the winter, since we're sitting here in beautiful Utah, we've got snow-capped mountains. I know you guys like to ski. Take us through this uh, beautiful Class B as we start talking about skiing. Okay, so... You can, so it's, I guess it's kind of a misconception, we think, with people that you can't go RVing in the winter. We love to go RVing in the winter. Yes. It is a fantastic place through time to go out, and there's not so many people out, so you got a lot more things to yourself. Um, and we've been winter camping in a Travado, like this one that you're showing here. Um, one of the things we liked about the Travado is that it is front-wheel drive. It handles extremely well. It handles just like a car. Yeah, I'm really comfortable driving it. Um, Our camper van before the Travato was an old Sprinter, and that was a lot harder to handle. When we got this, I felt like I was driving my car. So yeah. we yeah. would actually have arguments about who got to drive, yeah. not who had to drive. <laughs> yeah. So, and to take something like like the Travato winter camping, really, we found all we need is just a good pair, a good set of snow tires. Yeah. And we're good to go. We our our Travato has never let us down to get anywhere we wanted to get yep. in, in the snow. Um, one of the things you do need to be prepared for with winter camping, though, is that everything is going to be more 
difficult True. to do in the winter. So you just need to be prepared for that. Like here, we're seeing there's a propane cooktop right there. So this, this rig has propane mm -hmm. and you need to be prepared for propane to be a little more difficult to find in right. the winter. In fact, we were, we were someplace outside of Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon National Park. We, we were, ran out of propane. It was like zero degrees out. And we stopped at a gas station. They tried to help us get propane from their tank, but it was frozen. Oh, so we no. couldn't oh. get yeah, The propane. propane had frozen. It had been like 13 below the night before. The propane was just frozen. There was no getting propane. So not that that's a bad thing. You can still, you just you need to be prepared. Yeah. You need to plan for it. So, and then we're seeing the sink right there in the kitchen, in, in the galley there, there's a, a decent sink. Yeah. Water can be one of the, one of the tough points for, uh, for winter camping. You need to basically be prepared and you need to know your rig. You need to know where your tanks are. Is your fresh tank outside? Is it inside? What plumbing lines are outside the rig? What's inside? You, you need to have that knowledge. And once you've got that knowledge, you can plan smart. You can say, well, my fresh water lines in this rig, they're all inside. You could actually use this plumbing in the winter, which is one of the things we like about the Travato, by the way, is it's that the all the plumbing lines are inside. Now yes. the, the waste tanks will be outside. Right. So, but the plumbing lines will be in. So if you had a Travati, you would think, okay, well, I can still use fresh water. I may have to worry about when I need to go dump my tanks right? because that is on the outside, but fresh water, I'm good to go. So that's something else you need to consider when you're camping. Um, what else is in this galley? This was, this is a Travato K. Yeah, this is the model we took on our national parks tour in 2019. So we're very familiar with the Travato K that you're seeing here. One of the things we love about this is just how spacious it feels and those huge twin beds there. And they actually yes. can make into a, 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 a giant a giant bed, bed too nice. but so we back back when there were rv shows in person we would go to a lot of rv shows and we would just <laughs> gravitate we would find ourselves hanging out with the travados because we we had one you know yeah. it was camaraderie people to talk to <laughs> and without fail the first thing that people would notice when they would walk into this travado k floor plan is how open and spacious it feels right. because a lot of people they're worried like i'm going to be living in a van you know for it'll feel closed in but this floor plan does not feel closed in at all it's well, yeah, a it, great use of space and, with and all I, the windows I, I totally agree with you guys. One of the things I love about this layout when you have the twin beds is not only is it an open shot, right? And you know, you, you have all that space, but also for packing, if you have longer items like doing winter camping, going skiing, you have a place to put those skis as well if you don't want to put them outside. True, yes. true. Um, a lot of people will travel with bikes and then, then they'll just decamp the bikes to the outside we, when, when mm -hmm. they do it. And there's even storage in the, in the K floor plan there under the bed on the passenger's side. Um, there is a rather large storage compartment that's pretty long. I don't remember exactly how many inches long it was, but it's a pretty yeah, decent the size. the bed flips up and you've got storage under that bed there. There yeah, we go. There oh, we there go. we go. He's oh, how it. beautiful is that? That's perfect. Popped up super easy and there's the storage. And, and how, so, about the, yeah. how about the comfort of the bed when you guys laid in them? I know they have like the, the Froley system on there. Um, yeah. did, did, did you find that it was nicer than most of the other RV mattresses out there that you laid on or... Did you have to yeah, go out and replace it, or what was your feeling on it? No, we didn't replace it Yeah, at all. we loved it. We yeah. didn't even put – some people will put toppers on them, but we thought they were just perfect as yep. they were. Um, In fact, of the time we, – so we took a Travato K on a National Parks tour for uh -huh. nine months. There's yeah. the Froley. He's showing the Froley sleep system under yep. there. Yep. That does two things. It keeps the mattress up off of the deck so that if you're – let's say you're a, you know, a, someone who sweats in their sleep or something, it's going to let the mattress air out. And then it's also some nice. sprung comfort. So it's two functions of that. But sleeping in the Travato K was one of the highlights of this floor plan for me because yeah. we have a Travato G, a different floor plan. And, and, and I, <laughs> it's got I love a her, tiny but... <laughs> bed in the back corner. <laughs> sleeping like this all the time. <laughs> I like to call it romantic. Others might call it cramped. <laughs> but when we had the K for our National Parks tour, it was just such a treat to be able to spread out and have that huge bed space. Oh, your camera, he's looking in the in the cabinet there. I don't know if he can get a clear shot of that little black nub that's on the roof of that, uh, on the ceiling of that cabinet. There's a little, it, that is, if he can get a shot of it, Yes, there that black is. spot. Look at yep. that. That is a port. This is something that Winnebago has done that we think is just genius. So that is a roof access port. 
So I still have a full-time job. I have a day job. And I need to be able to work when I'm on the road. Sure. And the Travato makes this easy by including that port. What it is, you pull out that plug and there's a little box on the roof. So if you need to install a Wi-Fi booster, a cell booster, whatever, Winnebago hasn't presumed to decide for you which one you're going to get because the technology changes every couple of years and you're going to want a new one anyway. They have just given you an easy and convenient way to get through to your roof and to mount an antenna without drilling. So, so there's a hole for you up to the roof so you can mount your antenna there for your, we have a cell booster in ours. Yeah, and even, even when we had ours on loan for nine months touring uh -huh. national parks, I, I went ahead and made that mod because I, you know, you're not going to drill a hole in someone's RV that you borrowed, right? <laughs> right that would sure. be rude. <laughs> but with the roof port, I just popped the cover out and I was able to get my cell booster up on the roof and I was good to continue working while we were on the road. So it's a small thing, but it's such a thoughtful thing. And that's one of the things we love about Winnebago is that they're always listening to their customers and they add these little touches like this to just make our being so much more convenient. Yeah, and I love that the camera is shooting that that wide open shot. And if we can go back to the spaciousness when you see it, and you you guys shoot your videos, I didn't know that you were shooting your videos in a class B. That's how big it looked behind you with yeah. the microwave, with everything and all the conveniences right there. But it looked like such a big, look at how big that is. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. able to shoot those videos and not feel cramped. I don't. I didn't see two people cramped inside. And and uh, James, I wanted to ask you, how tall are you? I'm about 5'10", 180, 185. So I'm I'm normal size. I don't want to get into weight or personal things, but you know. <laughs> 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 but I'm just saying, you're you're five ten, almost six feet tall, and you mm. seeing you on your videos in your class B, I've never got the feeling that you felt cramped in there. No. Yeah. And, and we don't really. And some of that, you know, I mean, it is a smaller space. There's no, there's no denying that. But if you design it smart like this, like the rear bath, that's another thing that really opens that floor plan up is they've taken the bath, the wet bath, and they've pushed it all the way to the back. Yep. So basically a lot of class B's they'll have with, in Europe, they call it a wasp waste. They'll have like a side bath and that pinches the floor plan down somewhere in the middle of the coach. And that makes it feel a lot more closed, a lot smaller. Yeah. But here now we're back in the, we're back in the wet bath and, and it's a clever use of space, yeah. right? Right over the toilet there. That is a sink. If you can grab that handle there and pull down, you'll oh, see. Cool. Yeah, that's that. a sink, and then it just pulls out. So isn't that a wonderful use of space? You've got it if you need it. Otherwise, you can just get it out of the way. Yeah, and putting it at the back, it, it really opens up the floor plan, and it gives you, honestly, a little bit of a bigger bath than yeah. you would get on the side. You know, if you've ever been on a Class B side, but, you know, sometimes you feel like you have to stand like this because <laughs> of the band curves as it, as it goes towards the top. So by putting it in the back, you've got kind of the whole width of the back there. So there's the sink, yeah. and right below that is the commode. And uh, on the other side... Oh, the other side is that huge cabinet. Now, I loved this. We didn't have this in our G floor plan. That cabinet right there is so deep, and you can get so much. I probably could have got everything in our G floor plan. It's just in this one cabinet. <laughs> it's wonderful. And again, you know, space is precious in these things. So you exactly. get a cabinet this big, uh, it's pretty exciting to have, especially in a floor plan that already feels so spacious. And below that huge cabinet is some drawers. In our K, when we had this model, we actually cut a hole in the bottom drawer there and we made a litter box hidey hole space oh. for our cat, Mel. I like yeah, so that was Mel's litter box right there. So anybody who has a cat, this is the floor plan you want to check out because you can have a hidden litter box right there. We the asked floor. before before <laughs> I made that mod. We asked. <laughs> well, James, Steph, I I have to bring it up because everyone I talk to, they start looking at a class B that hasn't that doesn't have experience with them. They get a little weirded out by a wet bath. What was, I mean? Did you ever have any issues with it at all? I mean, were you okay with it? I just you know coming yeah. from someone if they're brand new, tell them that. You know, maybe it's not so bad, or are there, you know, some hangups with we, it? We actually felt the same way. Yeah, our very we understand. First, our very first Class B had a dry bath. It had an actual separate shower, which was very unusual yes. for Class B. Yeah. Um, and we actually thought that might be one of our criteria when we went shopping for a new van. You know, we, well, we don't want a wet bath. That's just weird. <laughs> but 
But after we got a wet bath, because it had literally everything else we were looking for, after we got a floor plan that had a wet bath, we realized eh, it's this not, is not a problem. It's not a big deal. Yeah. So a wet bath just means you're going to shower right over everything else. The toilet, everything is going to get wet there. That's a wet bath. And um, it, it turned out to not be a yeah. problem at all, which was surprising for us. We thought we were going to have a problem with it. Yeah. And when I but see that, works. when I see that floor plan and I've opened up the back doors and how convenient is that to be able to just, you know, get it all cleaned out if you want to and clean it up and get it all sparkling, shining again. It seemed to be so perfect and convenient and easy to do. It is a lot easier to clean from the outside. I, I will say that. Definitely. So, and you know, we know some people, their, their exterior showers on these, some people will sort of like blanket that area off and you can use it as an outdoor shower if you're someplace where that's appropriate, like, you know, at a remote trailhead or something. Yep. People will do outdoor showers in a class B. But getting back to the wet bath, it's it's really not that big yeah. of a deal once you just it, it's it was more of a mental thing for us. Plus the other thing is in our in our class B floor plan, remember class B's are small. In that shower stall, when we had that shower stall, it was full of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we used it as a storage space. And there so in order to take a shower, we had to like take this out and find some place and take that and then we had stuff all over the rig just in order to be able to use it because. Yeah. So it wasn't all that great having the dry bath, but yeah, there's always going to be give and take with a class B because you have yep. only so much space to work with. And if you're going to have a dry bath, that's going to take away some of your space that could have otherwise been living space. So I like this wet bath concept. It means there's more space for the living area. Yeah, a, a dry shower, a dry bath shower is a lot of space to dedicate for something you're not going to use very often. And there it is right there when they open the doors. You see how convenient that is. That's one of the things I loved, Ian, when we were looking at this. And, and I, I like to, I want to open every door. I want to open every cabinet. I, I'm with you, Steph. I want to know where all my space Space is. I want to know how I'm going to utilize every in inch of this because when you're in a class B, space is key. And I, I really enjoyed the convenience of opening up the back doors and going, ah, I can I don't have to worry about it. my wife tells me to go clean the bathroom. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and also there on the back door, there's a bike rack. Yeah. So that, that one's right from Winnebago, that bike rack. So you know it's well supported. We don't like a lot of people will say, well, can't you just we're picky about our bikes, as you may have gathered from all the cycling talk earlier. Oh, yeah. So I don't like the, the bike racks that mount in a trailer hitch. Yeah. They're, your bikes are closer to the ground. They're going to bounce around a lot more. It's harder on the bike. They're closer to road grime, dirt, salt, dust, whatever might. And plus, you might back into something with them hanging out on the hitch, right? And then if you've got a fancy bike like we do, then you've, you've really messed up a fancy bike. I like this bike rack is a little bit higher, so it's not going to bounce as much and it holds the bike, you know, by both the wheels and a spot on the frame so they don't bounce around a lot. And it comes right from Winnebago. The trays adjust to bikes of different wheel length, you know, wheel bases. Yeah. You can adjust it depending on the wheel base of your bike. And there's the ladder on the other door and that's oh. the removable ladder, right? Yeah. So there's a little screw on that ladder. If you unscrew it, you can actually pick that ladder up and put it on the side of the van and then you can climb up there and a lot of people will store stuff on top of their their vans um, that kayaks. ladder is just just brilliant it, it might be hard for him to to show with like you know one hand on yeah, the, camera, the camera but, <laughs> yeah. but it is it, there's movable. a little there's a little star knob there and you would unscrew that and then the whole ladder just picks up and then you walk anywhere down the driver's side of the rig and you can hook it Wow. into the roof rack. Oh, I see that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we're, we're real close to that. And when he shows the camera angle and you go up to pan to the left there, you'll see that the hooks on top of the ladder are able to hook in anywhere along that drive. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, what a great yeah. convenience to have it to is. be able to put something up on top really for storage too. Yep. And, and also, you can still get to it. And to clean the solar panels that are up there too. Yes. So it's another way to just clean off your panels or any kind of access you need up there. Very handy. Yeah, you got to be careful walking around on the, on the roofs of these class Bs. You don't want to dent them, right? You don't want to, you got to be careful. And so having this ladder that you can put literally anywhere along that, that link is, is really helpful. Yes. So that's, that's one of those really smart, cool things that, that 
we like about the Winnebago's. Now, Steph, James, I know you guys also said that once in a while you will tow a trailer behind with some extra bikes in it. Uh, that's one of the other things, you know, with the Class B, as we talked about, a lot of times you don't have to bring another vehicle, but it does allow you to do things. So you still have a hitch there. So if you want to bring extra gear with you, you have the capability to do it. Yeah, and we let's we got so so you may have seen a cat photo bombing us from time. He's finally <laughs> taken a nap. He's just right up there. Um, Love it. That's Mel, the reluctant adventure cat. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he knew what he was in for. He we didn't he he adopted us. He just climbed out of a tree in our yard and refused to leave, and so we kept him. <laughs> I love it. And when we started traveling with Mel with four bikes and a cat and a box, it, something had to give. And so on those trips where we take four bikes and the cat- And the litter box. We, we bring the trailer. Right. And the, it's an easy tow. We hardly notice that there's plenty of power. We're showing the cab here. There's plenty of power in the ProMaster to be able to pull a trailer like, like the small one we do, for sure. I did notice these seats um, off topic a little bit. So when we got our Travato, we had to get cloth seats. There wasn't the option to get these, these leather oh, type yeah. seats. So this Beautiful. is wonderful. Mm -hmm. We ended up having to recover our Travato seats ourselves, which was not fun. a terrible <laughs> job <laughs> that, that James had to do. One of the hardest mods you'd ever done, right? Yeah. It was, so this is wonderful. They're now offering that as an option. We didn't have that. Yeah, wow, one of the things for uh, nice. one of the things for 2021 that we've seen with a lot of our new vehicles coming off the line is truly remarkable. And if you are just joining us, we're talking with uh, Stephen James of the Fit RV, and they're taking us through this amazing Class B. You've taken us on the road. You've given us some amazing recipes and places to go. I want to go back to your beautiful cat for just a second because this <laughs> can't be just passed up. You had the the uh, custom. <laughs> Uh, litter box in the back that was so that, that was so perfect yes. does mail uh, mail take to the road uh easily did you find that easy taking a, a, a pet on the road with you Actually, in class b kind of yeah. yeah but he, we started him small yeah he was very young when we started he's also leash trained he walks on a leash with a harness oh nice when we go out yeah um, and he's seen some incredible things yeah I mean, if you very if you ever want to blow a cat's mind Take him to what well, we talked before about Theodore Roosevelt National Park, pull up to a prairie dog village with hundreds of prairie dogs popping out of holes, and then open the sliding door. And Mel doesn't get out of the van. <laughs> he He's scared. <laughs> he's a scaredy cat. But so he just sits <laughs> in the van, but he watches all freaked out at these little Blue creatures. His mind. Yes. So you might think he's, he's freaked crazy. out, but Mel might be enjoying that. And next time you go back, he's like, what are we going to see the cats or the dogs? Prairie dog, prairie dogs. Yeah. He's seen, he's seen way more than, than most cats yes. would bother to. He's seen the ancient ruins at Mesa Verde National Park. Oh. He overlooked those. And yeah, he's had some pretty incredible adventures for a cat. No. Yeah, but the key is start them young. And one of the things we did if for anyone who's looking to try to RV train your cat, one of the things we did that I think was just critical is park the RV in your driveway and just let the cat hang out in it so that he gets to know the space Good point. before it starts moving and becoming an earthquake. Yeah. That makes sense. That that makes once sense. he's already familiar and comfortable and he's got like a hidey hole he likes to go hang out in or something, then you can try to take him on the road, but let him get comfortable first. Yeah, that makes sense. I was going to ask how he did when you guys went out cycling, if he did okay. But, you know, like you said, if he's comfortable with the safe yeah. space, he'll probably do just fine. Yeah, no, usually when we go out cycling, he, he crashes out. Yeah, he goes into nap mode until we get <laughs> back to entertain him again. Look at this fold-up oh, table. Oh, they're showing the, the flip-up yes. table. That was, uh, that was a favorite of Mel's, actually. Oh, yeah. yes. I really like that spot, too. So when you rotate the seat around, the passenger seat around, then you've got this table here your own little workspace. And actually you can rotate the driver's seat around and there's a little pull out um, cutting, cutting board, board kind, kind of, of thing. What? It's enough for a cup of coffee. Yeah, see right over the microwave there. Mm -hmm. you can pull that out. And so you can both be working from those very comfortable Wait a minute. Uh, when we start talking yeah. about convenience and space and you can turn, I didn't even think about the the yeah. uh, passenger seat turning all the way around, the, the driver's seat turning, all, the captain's chair is yes. turning all the way around. 
having those tables there, oh my gosh. I mean, talk yeah. about it. And they flip that's really easily. Amazing. They're very comfortable. Yeah. It, it, it's good to have that because without that, you know, your main living space is on the beds, right? So without a table like that, if I wanted to get up early and have a cup of coffee, I would have to do it on the bed and then Steph's trying to sleep right there and it's just not, it's not a good situation. But this way you can go up, get your coffee and sit up in the front and not be impinging on Steph's ability yes. to continue to nap in the beds or anything. It's, it's great. And it does come with another table, a really long dinette table that is stored between the beds. You can kind of see it there between the beds. And so you can set up a table in between the beds as well. So it's not like you don't have table options. You have sure. a ton of table options in this class class B van. So. Steph, James, um, quick question for you. One of the questions I often get asked is about lithium, right? When it comes to class Bs, it's oh. probably more common in, uh, lithium's more common in class Bs than probably any other motor home out there. Tell me, did, did you mm -hmm. guys go with lithium option? How was your experience with it? We have been lithium since, well, for, it's coming up on five years now. Yes. Um, we have had only lithium batteries and we, we even dropped the generator, took it out of, of Lance. Um, the, so, Basically, and we have a system that will allow us to even run the air conditioner off of battery power. Nice. And that is, having lithium and power like that is a life changer. And what I tell people, it's not just about the air conditioning, it's about toast. Think about it if you want toast <laughs> in your RV, right? Yeah. You're going to have to fire up the generator, wake up the campground to get electricity to power your toaster. Whereas point. with a lithium system, you can just... Push a button, the inverter kicks on, it's nice and quiet. You make your toast. Didn't even wake her up. I've made toast. It's, it's just like being in a home that way. So you can make your smoothies, you can do your juicing, all those things with lithium. You don't even really have to think about it. It just works like a house works, no matter where you are. You could be on the north rim of the Grand Canyon and you can have toast and smoothies not plugged into anything. Yeah, Ian, it's I'm really wonderful. glad you brought that up. I mean, lithium is obviously the way to go now. And we're talking with, uh, we're talking about this amazing Class B. This is our partner pick today. Give us a, a quick trip plan that you guys have coming up in the near future. Uh, well, we're trying to keep our trips a little closer to home now just because of, you know, whatever, right? Um, but I think one of our trips coming up is there's a ride on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. You go to Jacob Lake and you can ride like, I think it's like 60 miles to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. And I've really wanted to do that. Yes. And we haven't done it yet. And it's only two hours from our house. We can't believe we haven't done this trip yet. So that is coming up. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And we also do... Like on a, on a weekly basis, we'll do like date night. That's something you can do with a class B, a little tougher to do with a class A or, or a towable, is you can go to a restaurant, get takeout, drive up to a scenic lookout. And, and have dinner. Have dinner there. Nice. That's it. Partner picks are, that's what it's all about. Doing the class B and of course doing it healthy, doing it the safe way and having a great time and taking care of yourselves while doing it and bringing your cat with you on the road. <laughs> James, Steph, we can't thank you guys enough. Our partner pick today and uh, we look forward to seeing you out on the road. James, I got my road bike and we're ready to go, my friend. Let's do it. Bye. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With all plans currently 50% off, you can't afford to get stuck without it. It's going way too fast. Oh, Slow man. down with all these weeks and all these days and all the excitement. But the best news of all is we have all these incredible deals. It's the end of day two already. This is week number six, and we are having a blast. Can you believe it? Sean Parr, by the way, as we wrap things up, we've got the incredible, uh, the rent, what do you call it? The Flippin' Tilbys. 
I love that the whole family's on the road with us this week. And of course, the Jurgies, you know, that have been they on the know. road since day one. And we love having fun. our families get together and enjoy all this fun. We're going to get right to a giveaway. We got another ultimate giveaway, Renee. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We have so many giveaways, and everybody can be involved in the giveaways. All you have to do is text URVS to 46642 and then you can be entered. And we're doing giveaways every single week, multiple times a week, and actually Sean gets to do it right now. Sean, you were talking about power sports earlier with Ian, and you guys absolutely nailed it, and you got everybody salivating. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Couldn't we get a 250? Well, guess what? That's what we're doing, right? Yeah, I know right now we're super excited to be able to give away one of these UT 250s. We were looking at them earlier, um, so I guess Without further ado, we're going to give one away right now. So, Manny Aguilar, you are the proud Woo! new what? owner yes, of a Coleman UT250. Awesome job and awesome, Manny. Congratulations to you. Listen, here's the, the big news. This just in, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow somebody is winning an RV. Oh we're giving it away. Yeah. Make sure you're registered. Yeah. Jurgis, you guys ready for another crazy day? We are. And just wanted to remind you as well, this isn't the only time Camping World is giving away stuff. We're like, it's through this show, right? So make sure you're registered and you tune in. Also, we've been hiding treasures throughout the country during this tour. We have some more that where we upload video clues on our Instagram that show you where it is and first one to find it gets it. So just the other day, someone found one for $500 to Camping World. We have another one that's coming out this weekend, so make sure you follow the Jurgies at the Jurgies on Instagram. And then one of them is going to be for an RV as well. So get it. Unbelievable. We've had such a great day. We've been, Nelly, you've been getting everybody, the crew, all juiced up oh, yeah. with your juicing. We learned from uh, James and Steph how to stay fit on the road. We just had our partner pick. I love our customer picks that we do, and we've got a staff pick coming up and so much to do. But you know what's great, guys, is, Nelly, almost 10 million people by the end of this weekend will have tuned in to the Ultimate RV Show. That is so mind-blowing to me. So awesome. Good job, everybody here. And you know what? Hopefully more people come. And the easiest way people can find any information is by texting just RV to 46642. We've got special standing by. Easy peasy. And hopefully more, more will join that. For Ian Number. Baker, of course, Chris Young, and this entire team and our crew, thank you so much. Can't wait to get here tomorrow. Thank you so much.